Oh, boy. Oh, it's time to pray for Jimmy. Big boy trouble's coming my way. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to this lovely Saturday stream. If you had tuned in four days ago, you'd see that I was absolutely correct. I was discussing a little bit of drama that happened with a YouTuber by the name of Drummer. Drummer had a video he uploaded 10 years ago. Sat on his account for 10 years, idling. Completely forgotten. Nobody really cared about it. Except for a YouTuber by the name of Monograph, who decided to start sending threatening emails to Drummer and doing spooky online shit because Drummer wasn't bending over and taking it up his ass. Well, I, I watched this play out for about 30 days, laughing as it happened, and I made a statement. I said that Montagraph has plenty of evidence out there of doing a lot of underhanded things. Doxing people, swatting people, flagging people, getting them fired from their jobs, and suing them. And what do you know? Now he has me on his list. I'm on his list with a lot of people. Lots of people are on that list, and Jimmy just got added to it. I'm right up there with uh, with Drummer, of course, Liquid Monty, uh, ja uh, Jake Morphonius, sorry about that, uh, Google, PayPal, Twitter, seven unidentified sweaty men. We'll get to all of this very soon. But uh, I pushed it too far. It wasn't the furries. Was it the diaper shitting autists on the internet who like the crap in the pampers? It was motherfucking monograph that's going to teach me a big boy lesson. So we're going to be going over a legal case he recently filed against somebody for laughing at him because he hates to be laughed at. And we're going to see how that went out. And we've got a, a special guest, Nick Ricade, is going to be joining us <clears throat> to discuss the court case itself and to, well, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to spoil it just yet, but let's say Nick's on that list too. Nick made the mistake of tweeting out uh, nothing, uh, essentially laughing about the situation, just like I had in regards to Drummer. And what do you know? Nick got put on the big boy list of getting butt fucked later on down the line. Oh, it's Trouble Town. The train is headed straight to Trouble Town, and I'm, I'm in the caboose with Nick and everybody else. So let me get the Google Hangout set up. Let me invite Nick on. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned. We're going to look at the court case. We're going to look at some videos, some statements that have been put up by our boy, Mr. Montagraph, Mr. Monty, of uh, some of the threats that he's made. Maybe you don't know this, but he has magical psychic powers, and I'm going to die. He's informed me that I'm a dead man. Within 30 days, I'm going to be driven off the road. That's that's what he's told me. <laughs> Take a look at that. I don't know what's going to happen first. What bad, unfortunate thing? Am I going to get sued first, or am I going to be driven off the road, Monty? Which one's going to happen? I really do enjoy watching you try to make threats and have to be subtle about it, because you know if you outright stated you're going to drive me off the road, <laughs> you'd be locked up in a loony bin. But uh, let, me, let me get this set up. Let me get this set up here. Oh, no, I don't need to, don't need to do that. Make sure I've got the proper, the proper stuff. Oh, God. There we go. And we'll get Nick in here, and we'll have Nick join us. Oh, fun time's ahead. Let me just send him the link here. Hopefully he's eagerly awaiting our discussion with Mr. Monty. Yeah, it's, there's uh, oh, lots of super chats. I see that you all remember the formula here on what happens when unfortunate things occur. Pay me. I'm very sad you need to fucking pay me. All right, this happened when I got doxxed. I was very fucked up about it. That kick fund me got me through those tough times. Lawsuit's coming. Very sad. Lots of tears falling down my fucking cheeks. Let me just shout one out here for the absurd amount of money it is from Sword and Scales. Jimbo being sued, here's a little something for your legal defense fund. And for that paint thinner you drink. Well, I do love my Kharkov. There's nothing better than horrific tasting fucking vodka. If you're not shitting blood, you're not drinking real man's liquor. All right, get that gin and rum crap the fuck out of here. <laughs> you need something amazing. Okay, let me send the link here. Uh, if Nick is listening, uh, it should be sent to you. And then I'll, I'll check audio levels to make sure I'm not a complete inept retard. And then I think, I think we're good to go. We'll find out real quick. We'll find out real quick. Hello. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay, let me just adjust the audio just a tiny bit. Uh, you want to say something? <laughs> Did you choose to go silent for that? Oh, no, oh. no, no. Oh, there uh, can we go. You, are, are, Am I here? Am I here, Jim? 
Yep, you're here. You're here. I, I I know a lot of people usually throw Google Hangups up on the screen. Um, instead, I I just I have it in the background, so nobody's gonna know you're naked right now. Oh. It's, it's our fucking secret. Thank God, thank God. But you can enjoy that. You can enjoy the nudity. I love while I, talk. I, I love male nudity. <laughs> I uh, I would expect nothing less from the leader of the legal team for the uh, sweaty sausage squad, Nick. <laughs> I, I've been eating sweaty sausage. Have you? Is for it delicious? So long. It, mm, oh, it's good. The, the extra salt on it makes it perfect. <laughs> I, I'd be careful. You don't want to moan too loudly. Monograph might get the wrong impression. He really likes that uh, those toe sucking pictures he's been putting up on his Twitter. I don't know if you've seen those. I, I have. Uh, let me just suggest I am not a melon. and uh, <laughs> You're not going to be fucked? I will not. I will not. <laughs> well, l- let me just state this clearly uh, to keep you out of any uh, snafus going forward. Um, you're simply a guest. You're not legal counsel. I haven't paid you for your services. You're just a guy coming on to talk about some crazy shit. Well, and hopefully laugh a lot at a very, very exceptional individual. Uh, yeah. Now I sent you. Well, I sent you a couple things actually. I sent you a clip, uh, a, a compilation clip. Did that? Uh, did that pop up for you? Yep. I I haven't watched through all of it. Oh I no, have that's... a guest here, but but I was watching through, and it's great. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, uh, yeah. I I I I'm I'm sure <laughs> the audience is gonna like that, as well as the <laughs> um, the write up by J. Uh, is, I gotta keep saying Jake. I think it's uh, it Jack or Jay. It Morphonius, uh, from yeah. Blackstone Intel. Um. Now, he has a whole thing. We'll read through that. I'll, I'll show that to the audience and stuff, too, about his legal case with uh, Monograph. And, and the weird thing about that, too, is like, I, I'm fairly certain these are the court documents. Now, I know uh, Josh from Kiwi Farms did a phone call with Monograph earlier today, and Monograph said, well, you know, uh, the real filing is 23 pages long, which, you know, I checked, what do you know, 23 pages. So I think everything Jake has put up on his website is legit, at least from my, my point of view. Um, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully you can answer. I've got lots of interesting questions when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, hopefully you can answer some fun questions. And why don't we start? You know what? Let me do this now. I sent you uh, the way I set it up is I sent you an unlisted video so you can watch the clips. And then I've got the video on my desktop so I can show it to the audience. Perfect. Um, and that way we can pause and kind of talk as it goes through. Because I think they need to really see what we're talking about, what we're dealing with here. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say outright. Uh, this dude uh, comes off as pretty unhinged. Now, uh, he did a couple of things, God, even before this stream started. But I, I just want to show everybody kind of what we're talking about. Over the last day, on his uh, YouTube page, yeah, it, it was in the last 24 hours, he put up four videos. Four videos talking about how he was going to sue me, how he was going to sue a bunch of other people, um, how people were going to be getting doxxed, how shit was going to be going down. Uh, I believe he even mentioned when he was on stream with Josh that he's flagging my Twitter account and other people's accounts to teach them a lesson. Um, you know, very outright hostile. Now, he deleted all of these, and I'm going to guess he deleted them because he's embarrassed or he's worried about it. Uh, luckily, I've archived fucking everything. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, just to kind of show people, I, I, again, I don't know if you have the stream open. I, I didn't send you these pics, but I, I can just kind of describe them. Uh, this is something common he would put up on his community page. Uh, this is Drummer. This is the guy that he was going after. It says, congrats, Drummer828. You are the 247th person that we have doxxed. Now all of your lies about others will be added. Your first and middle and last name, along with your location, enjoy your fame. Uh, this seems to be a common tactic that he employs. He'll get into arguments with people, find out their you know personal information, package it up, and then just make uh, ridiculous threats or outright try to get them fired. I mean, we're going to see that in the clips that we watch. Uh, now, you, uh, you know, kind of to just kind of bring this home, this is what he wrote to you. Uh, and again, for people wondering, Nick was just responding to me talking about this guy threatening to sue me. And you laughed about it, essentially, and said, come on my stream if you get sued. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because th- I, well, you, I, you would need to apologize to the earth. <laughs> oh, to everybody. Everybody <laughs> needs to know. Of course. <laughs> and, you know, under his, his uh, uh, YouTube handle, or I'm sorry, under the Twitter handle, he, he's got like 18 different aliases. But under his account, October Reigns, he, he went right at you. And this is what he did to me when I laughed about the drummer thing. I said, Nick, you apparently are not that bright. Free speech is one thing, but criminal harassment and conspiracy is another. So are you condoning such behavior? Not very professional, hot shot. Would you like your name attached to such horrific lies? I eagerly await your answer. Now, you had tweeted out that, like, maybe five minutes after he posted this, he called you. Yeah. Yeah, I was driving. 
uh, my kid around. <laughs> I get a phone call and it goes to my, uh, my law office number. And so I pick it up and uh, sure enough, it's this guy. Hello, I'm uh, Montagraph on Twitter. And I'm like, oh, oh, all right. I have no idea who this person is ever. Uh, never heard of him. And uh, then he said something that I didn't hear. And so I asked him to repeat it. And that's when the whole call got got started. Has he has he posted it yet? He threatened to oh, he, post he, my he, phone call. He threatened a lot of things. And now I've included that's the majority of the video we're going to watch because I, I, you know, I, I clipped that there was some stuff that wasn't really important. I tried to keep it everything related to you. Sure. Um, but, you know, it's like we got like 12 minutes of that 26 minute video where he's saying that he's going to basically fuck you into the dirt. Um, oh, good. As well as other clips that I think people are really going to enjoy hearing just how insane this guy is. Um, because the stuff that he talks about, he, he talks about um, how he taught the CIA a lesson, um, how he brought down a Rothschild, uh, how he was the guy that destroyed Q and identified him. Just lots of really, really interesting things. And I don't know if you pay attention to his community pages, but he's posted up uh, your information on his YouTube. Oh, I hope so. What 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 information? My like my law office information. Uh, he, he, he had some stuff up that he deleted. Uh, one of the things that's up right now. I, I don't want to. I like. I don't know if you care or not. That's it, a law firm stuff. I'm fairly certain right now that's up there. Um, I oh, don't I, I don't care. I mean, this guy. I I I'm almost positive he's not uh, properly doxed me or anything like that. But uh, if well, he, he's he's oh, got um he well he has uh, other things up there too about you. Oh sure. Um, uh, like the one I have on screen right now, it says, oh, look, I wonder if Mr. Annabelle is going to cover the attorney threatening to dox people. Of oh, I, rem I remember that tweet. I actually, uh, I believe I got like knocked off of Twitter for a day because of that. And it was, it was a sarcastic response to someone saying I doxed Kevin Landau by listing his P.O. box in New York. Well, and he's uh, only got like half of it on there, but it looks like you're saying I'm going to dox a butt. It, it was, <laughs> it was a bunch of people. Oh, there we go. The, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, so the the background of this is I did a video uh, when Kevin Landau filed an ethics complaint against me. And so he had his law firm's New York uh, Regis office listed on there. It's like uh, 45 Broadway or something. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. And I didn't redact the address because it's not a real, you know, it's not a real place uh, where people are. It's just a rent an office. Right. And. And so then a bunch of people like a year later accused me of doxing Kevin Landau. And so this was response to that when I was doing a video and I said, oh, I'm going to dox a bunch of people, which was a complete joke because I didn't dox anybody. Well, and I like this, <laughs> this screen grab he put up. If you click on it, it doesn't even show the whole thing. Like he couldn't even get it uh, centered properly. So it's just it just looks like you're talking about doxing people's asses. So that's uh, that's always a good look. Watch out. You know, he's got well, you on that one. I mean, that's my other website. Oh yeah, you know yeah, yeah. All right, so let me um okay, let me let me do this real quick. Uh, close the chat window. Uh, I'm just gonna run this from my from my desktop. And Myself. We, oh, oh, I don't want that to squeeze through here. Um, okay, uh, I'm just getting the video lined up. If you wanna if you wanna just jump on the uh the video itself, you know I get uh, just get everything kind of set up here to to play. Yeah, I, once you say play, I'll I'll hit play. Yeah, and then I'm if you on. have if you have anything you want to say, just say yeah, you know like pause it or whatever. And, Sure. Uh, we'll go through. Uh, the, the whole thing is like 16 minutes. Um, I'm sure we'll we'll enjoy it. This, and again, this is a sample of the videos that he put up on. He's got like 20 accounts, and he puts them all up on different accounts. So I've saved them. I've archived them. They're funny to me. I don't know why he takes them down when he makes all these amazing threats to people, but we'll we'll see kind of what this guy is up to. So let me get uh, Windows Capture up here, and I think we'll be good to go. All right. So it should show the chat window and it should show the video. I just want to double check. There's a little bit of stream lag and then I think we're, I think we're good. I hope you're ready, Mr. Mediocre. <laughs> Nikki, are you ready to get fucking super sued by Montagraph? Only if I get sued by pile driver. That's it. That's the only way. I better oh. go at least a half foot into the dirt. This guy, I swear to God, is just, <laughs> it's, it's the kind of gift you rarely get in the world. Um, Okay, it looks like it's showing up on screen. I think we're good. Uh, we'll start it off. Uh, these I, I tried to put it chronologically so people can get an idea of what this guy says. Oh, and there's one video here I should tell tell you in the audience. Um, I had to mute the audio on it because it was just a copyrighted song, but that's not even the important part. You'll see when we get to there about the you're going to die uh, shit that's coming up. Uh, so uh, just on uh, you know on the count of three, sound good to you? 
Yep, sounds great. Okay, uh, three, two, one. Myself have gone up against the CIA. Do you understand me, shithead? And my <laughs> investigations have flit the eyes of Trey Gowdy in Congress. Dummy. When it Dummy. comes to Benghazi. Matter of fact. Uh, yeah, let me just pause it at 18 seconds here. Um, so uh, already you know who you're dealing with, right? Uh, Trey Gowdy, he, he's flipped the attention. He's got the attention of Trey Gowdy. And he's been involved with the Benghazi hearings. I don't know if you caught that, but we're fucking with yeah. somebody who's it's a big deal. I'm I'm terrified. I, I saw what happened at Benghazi. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know what? I don't want that happening to me. Uh, okay, uh, we'll pick it up again at 18 on three, two, one. I was in a book by a best-selling author by the name of Timoth Timmerman. Kenneth Timmerman. Look it up, jerk off. <laughs> You don't even know who you don't even know who you're playing with. Don't know who you're fucking right? with. You're dealing with an individual that has absolute contacts with mainstream media. Contacts? ABC context. Is my Shit. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll pause it at 42 seconds. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, no. He he's made this claim numerous times on Twitter and in multiple videos. Uh, he talks about the Illuminati and how they're controlling the world, but then he'll threaten you and say, uh, "You don't understand. My family's basically m m mainstream media royalty." Um, they worked at ABC News. Uh, they worked at MSNBC. Um, if you fuck with me, I'm going to have you on the front page of papers across the country kind of stuff. Please don't do that. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see what his plan for you is. I think you're oh, really... Great. I think it, we'll, we'll pick it up again at 42. Uh, let's go. It's stick. Now, listen here, dumbass. If you want to be an international superstar, keep running that whole in your face. You screw around with me on the internet, you're going to be identified. You're going to be located. And if it comes to it, I'm going to take legal action against you. And how would I How would I confirm that? Uh, with a summons. With a summons. Put me in the courtroom somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll pause it at 107. Uh, he, he makes this, uh, he like alternates, uh, I don't know legal terms, right? So maybe, yeah. uh, maybe he's correct, but he alternates between saying that He's going to have a sheriff show up at your house with a summons and a subpoena. So can you explain to me in the audience what the fuck is he talking about when he says that's happening? Well, if you get a summons, it's a notice that you need to appear in court uh, under under penalty of, of contempt. Uh, if you get a subpoena, you need to typically produce information to the court. So um, both of them could be right. Typically, a summons involves uh, accompanies a complaint or a petition, and a subpoena would be a separate document. If you're if you're either, I guess if it's a if you're only getting a subpoena, it'd be because you're a non-party, but you might have information relevant to it. But um, you know, he's you just I guess he's just going through his glossary of legal terms. Yeah, he, he, he seems to be hitting the bullet points uh, when it comes to legal terms. Um, you know, I, I didn't have a chance to rip this. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do a follow up stream someday and talk about it. But um, his plan was to file a, uh, a lawsuit. Um, he talked about it for like a month and his lawsuit was going to be for the total of one billion dollars. And just he was a billion, just a billion <laughs> solid, nice, even round number of people can get their heads around. Uh, and he was going to sue. I, I think it was Google or somebody, but a billion dollars. He was just going to. And he represents himself. Is it pro se when you do yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's, <laughs> wait till we get to the TJ Maxx shit. You're going to love this. Um, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's no. look. We'll start over at 107 uh, and go. Because you decide to do something ridiculous. Agent 19's got a real big surprise for you, too. He sure does. So when are you going to make your Watching for Agent 19. Because if you bushes. cross that line, I don't know. The police are at your door knocking on your door. Ding dong. How you doing? Yeah, we got a call, see? Mm. Are you being see? naughty? We got a call, you, see? You better stop being naughty. You're going to go to court. I'll pause it at 131. Yeah, he's got like, uh, it, it's really hard to pin it down. Like, I've been trying to think of who he reminds me of. And it's like a weird mixture of like Hank Hill with Dentures and Boomhauer from fucking, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like, that's what well, he man, sounds man, like. Dang old summons in there. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, boy. He's got that that kind of drawl to him, too, sometimes. Uh, yeah, it's like the uh, like the the guard in Cool Hand Luke or whatever. Uh, yes, that's yes, that's <laughs> perfect. Okay, well we'll start up. Yeah, uh, Agent Nineteen, by the way, is his uh, a super best friend on the internet who he sends out to do his bidding. Agent Nineteen's gotten kind of quiet. I maybe he's getting ready to super dox us. Uh, so how many 
how many bo- what what's what's Agent 19's body count roster even look like? Can it be listed in one it's classi- key document? It's classified, Nick. Uh, I, I I don't think you understand. Okay, um, this guy he understands OPSEC. Uh, we're talking deep state levels of uh, identity obfus- or obfuscation. I, I the word. <laughs> uh, he he wears a ski mask. So <laughs> when he oh. does videos, when didn't he, that uh, didn't that Dallas shooter wear a ski mask the other day? Wasn't he? Uh, maybe maybe Agent Nineteen has been busy. <laughs> I can't speak to that. Purely speculation on our part, but <laughs> you never know, right? It's stranger <laughs> things have happened. Uh, but Agent Nineteen, yes, uh, uh, he starts all his videos off by saying, "What does he say?" He says he has like this mantra, like this old retarded mantra. Uh, I know who you are, but you don't know who I am. And that's how I like it. Some shit like that in his little ski mask, talking about super doxing uh, 50 year old women on Facebook. <laughs> so <laughs> so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pick it up again at 131. So let's go ahead and go through the facts. The reason why we come after people, the reason why people lose their jobs, and we're very proud of it too. We, we're very proud of it when we can help them lose their jobs. We'll tell you why. Oh, he's the worst person all. on earth. <laughs> yeah, I'll pause it at 145. Yeah, it, right? Like, he's very open about what he does. He, he'll he try to deny it, but then he'll make videos repeatedly stating it and bragging about it. Uh, he's openly said, and, you know, I have it archived and saved, so it's not just my word. Uh, he doxes people. He's, you know, he, he bragged on uh, a guy got uh, a police visit during a stream, and he bragged that that was him, that he was responsible for that. Um, he brags about getting people fired from their jobs. Like he takes pride in it of uh, trying to fuck people out of work. Um, he takes pride in flagging people's stuff. He brags about that. He takes pride in saying that he'll sue people. And, you know, I think this is like a new chapter in his crazy autobiography because with the Jake Morphonius thing, that was just in May, right? So I, I think he's finally moved into actually doing that. Oh, that's so good. It, there's nothing better than when you get to see someone's plans really unfold and they, they explode like the wonderful autistic butterfly that they are. Oh, it, it's always it's always amazing. All right, uh, 145 and continue. We're very proud of contacting law enforcement and trying to alleviate or alleviate. potentially <laughs> stop some lunatic on the internet that is showing signs of, let's say, incompetence... <laughs> or let's say instability to protect the public. Mr. Mediocre, <laughs> when I have his account, his YouTube account, subpoena it, I'm gonna sue him too. Oh, let's pause it at that. Now that's, I, I think just, not just for me, but I think for anybody watching this, at, uh, pause it at 2.13. Um, he's gonna have my account subpoenaed. So what is the process of subpoenaing, <laughs> subpoenaing a YouTube account? Could you walk people through for watching this? Uh, sure. You have to, you have to send a proper subpoena, uh, under the rules of, it should be San Francisco, uh, whatever the local rules in San Francisco are for the federal court there. Um, you would have to send that straight through to, to YouTube legal. It would probably take a little while to get, and you typically would have to back up the basis of the subpoena with a legitimate legal action. Uh, they're, they're not normally going to just release a bunch of information but uh, then, uh, assuming they complied with the subpoena and didn't say, oh, I've seen this lunatic before, um, they would uh, go ahead and release whatever information you used to establish your YouTube account. So, Oh, um, shit. So they're going to find out I'm Matt Gerbo? Oh, God, yep. I'm in trouble. It's, a, it's about time the world knows. <laughs> it's about time these boulders were pushed away and the truth was revealed. Yep. My, my favorite part of that was the breakneck head turn. On Mr. Mediocre. <laughs> oh, he is. He, uh, well, we're dealing with a meme master. I mean, we'll get into that. I think he he taught us both a lesson on Twitter earlier today with his uh, memery. Uh, I'm 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 working all day, twenty four seven ops to keep my wife off of Twitter so she doesn't see how ashamed I am of the memes. Um, well, that egg that's... meme. I mean, that's a kill shot. I I don't know how you even made it to this stream. To be honest with you, I mean, that was pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty devastating. Let's be honest. Well, an L is for looser, uh, which I think that's because I, when I sit down, I now hit the floor. Uh, stools no longer work because of the looseness. Um, well, yeah, he opened you up. I mean, I think I thought that was an illusion. Or uh, God, he's already got me talking like him. That was, <laughs> he's, he's inside my head, but he is a remote viewer. We'll get to the psychic stuff. Uh, let's let's pick it back up at two thirteen uh, and go. And when we identify and you locate you, we're putting you on criminal complaints. 
happens, then he, my jurisdiction is going to do an investigation. And then if they feel, if there's any validity to it, they're going to send a packet to your jurisdiction. They're going to pick you up and have you arrested. Going to guess you're not ever going to get a packet. A little bit. Uh, yeah, I'll pause it at 233. I mean, that's this is one thing that interests me about him, and you know, even just him aside, a couple of people, but um, he's openly stated that he he wants to use lawsuits not to win in court. He said this openly, not to win in court. He doesn't care. He just wants to get information to go after you so he can publicly embarrass you. Now, I mean, isn't that like a criteria for vexatious litigation, right? Where they're just using the courts to harass people? Yes. Um, although typically with vexatious litigation, you have to file multiple, either multiple suits uh, against a single person. And there's usually some local rule on what that number is, or you have to do something that the court finds so egregious. And I, I mean, making videos like this might be one of those things where you say, I'm going to do this just to pester and, and hinder and cost you time and money. Um, it's, it's not a bright move. But of course, I can assume, I can assume that this guy is, uh, you know, probably broadcasting from whatever nights in he sucked someone off to borrow their key card at <laughs> at, at ten forty five a.m. before checkout, so he could slip in there and record a video or two before going back to whatever bridge he lives under. Um, oh, Nick, are you remote viewing him? That's his shit. You're not supposed to use psychic powers to see what he's up to. Uh, no, he is not the only CIA connected Zen master of of all the psyops and the human to out there. I my my spiders are crawling in every web. <laughs> Watch out, monograph. You're dealing with a psychic level 100 master wizard over here. You've, you've I'm, bitten off more than you can chew. Oh, someone's calling me. But I don't think it's him because it wasn't a Chicago number. That's too bad. Oh, yeah. Well, he likes to, from what I understand, uh, like he'll he'll. It, it could be him. Like I think he likes calling <laughs> during streams or after tweets. So maybe we'll find out. I don't know. We'll we'll pick it up again uh, at two thirty three. Go. Maybe give you a little ticket. Tell you show up in court. You've got to pay five hundred bucks, and then Monty has to pick up the phone and contact ABC News, which we really did. And then ABC News called up YouTube, and YouTube was kissing my ass, and I got all the emails to back it up. But they're like, oh, we're sorry. We're so sorry. Oh, that was an accident. That was AI. Oh, sorry. Um, tough shit. It's too late. Yeah. And do we need to get the press involved again? I mean, really? Okay. Right. I was hoping he was going to say president. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm positive 306. Yeah. I. Uh, I, I there's a, there's a lot to this. Um, I've got the Morphonia suit we'll look at, uh, but in his video directly addressed to you, he references another lawsuit he filed, and apparently he's stating he went after a lawyer, and he was like, I, I dare you, Nick, I dare you, Nikki, to read the insummation, Nikki, I dare you to read it and see what I do, you're fucking with the thunder, Nikki. Like, <laughs> he's so, he's so, it just, have you ever seen somebody try too hard to be intimidating and it just goes past intimidation back into humor? That's kind of where he's at. That's a Gary stuck in. Yeah. The only, uh, I mean, the only intimidation I saw that I, I was intimidated for that melon. I mean, the look on that melon's sad face. Oh, oh my God. I, they don't, yeah, they don't even know about the melon yet. I mean, some oh, they people, don't know. Okay. Yeah, some people on Twitter understand the melon references, but we'll get to the uh, the melon sodomy <laughs> a little <laughs> bit. Uh, okay, we'll pick it back up. 306, go. Opportune time. You're proliferating information that is 100% incorrect. Again, what is wrong with you, bud? This is why a federal lawsuit is going to be filed against Google. Okay, yeah, we can talk over this. This is the uh, video he put up about... Well, <laughs> this should be, you should be on the October Rains thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and this is the whole video. This is, I, this is like a minute-long segment out of a six-minute video. This is the whole thing that he sent. Between now and July 25th of 2019, you will personally be involved in a car accident. These are facts, and there is no escape. Laugh all, <laughs> all that you want. It is not a joke. And now he said his super secret powers are what allowed him to see into the future and know that I'm going to die because an RV is going... And there's military footage and missile pictures. I don't know why those are in there. <laughs> Just so you know, it's serious. Like, hey, look, 
You got a marching band and a missile. Don't don't fuck with them. And us. I'm gonna make sure these are all the people involved in that car accident. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, positive four thirteen. This is the video now. I believe we're on uh, the video that is directly addressed to you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yep. So we'll we'll watch through this. It's I, I took twelve minutes of it. It's like a twenty six long minute or twenty six minute long video. Um, and feel free to answer any of his allegations, any of the things he has to say. I know you're shook. Right? I have a lot to answer for. Oh yeah. man, I can't. He did call you Nikki, and I mean that is pretty devastating with the pictures and everything. So uh, we'll start it up at four thirteen, and yeah, you got anything to say? Just say it, and we'll, I'll pause it as we go. All right, ready? All right. Yep. All right, let's go. Memes that is going to dazzle the hell out of you. Sure am, because he's the head counsel. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you don't mind laughing at yourself there, Nikki. You don't mind if I call you Nikki. 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 I, you I think okay, I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind if you call me Nikki, and I love laughing at myself. Oh, you, oh, yeah, I, 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 I paused at four thirty-four. Yeah, um, I, I mean, you've seen the master of memes. Like he told you, I'm gonna meme the shit out of you, Nikki, and uh, he totally did. He really uh, went to town with Adobe Photoshop to teach you a lesson. Yeah, I sent. He sent, I I've gotten a collection of them. I think uh, Kiwi Farms compiled them, and and one of my uh, my Discord moderator just just went ahead and gave me all of the memes. Uh, God, they're good. I oh. love the one where like Teddy Ruxpin is about to rape my egg. <laughs> yeah, you know, really <laughs> high level, super smart shit. Like you know, nine thousand IQ stuff. That's really hard for us plebs to to grasp onto. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I I'm. Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Are, are you ready for this? Uh, get ready, because he's he's gonna he's gonna tell you what's gonna happen. He's got a whole plan uh, laid out for how he's gonna just he's gonna destroy you, bro. Uh, he's gonna destroy you, bro. And I uh, God, I I feel bad for getting you involved in this, but we'll start back up at four thirty four now. Think that because you're an attorney, I'm supposed to give you or grant you some sort of automatic respect. Wrong. You might want to go ask Mr. Hampton. Out of the state no respect. Of Michigan, if uh, that how that worked out for him. Yeah, I think that's the one. Why don't you go after. ask uh, Mr. Mr. Hampton, Hampton, former employee that fired him of Michigan? Of me. I hate Michigan attorneys. His parent <laughs> with you. company, Jackson National Life Insurance. We former employee that fired him. That's weird. P oh yeah, positive five hundred seven. Yeah, it, it's weird. He says uh, the guy was a lawyer and he went after him, but then he's like he worked at a life insurance company. So I, I don't know if he was the lawyer for the life insurance company or if he was just like uh, representing himself like pro se and he thinks that means he's a lawyer. Yeah, it's uh, – well, it, on the phone call with me, here's the deep lore. He said, uh, you know, your employer that would potentially fire you. And I, st I said, uh, wait, do you think my employer is going to fire me? And he said, well, no, they probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the most correct thing he said uh montgraf my my employer will not fire me um but you can lodge all of the complaints you need to 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 ricada law my employer please just just lodge the complaints there and i'm sure my employer would be happy to address all of them he's a he's a very patient man and he's happy to to collate all of those complaints and really read me the riot act when it comes down to it so well you're gonna get a scolding i mean i i i'm, I'm familiar with your boss and i think it's gonna be a tough time but maybe you'll survive it maybe it he's he's tough but fair tough but fair that's true that that's that's very true <clears throat> but i mean not just i uh, can i ask you now before we get to it because uh, 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 did you say something to him specifically because he he gets real fucking mad later on in this video and he's like you know what you said and that video i'm gonna release audio on you uh, <laughs> uh the only thing i said was that i didn't consent to a recorded phone call just in case he was in a two-party state and to mess with him um other than that i i made fun of him a little bit but nothing crazy like i was just talking to this weirdo who called me up so uh who i know nothing about i didn't even have the ammo to make fun of him other than what he said to me on the call because i've literally never heard of him before yeah, I, he got really offended. Uh, just to give a little background to Chad, um, so he he you know I'm watching what he's doing with Drummer, right? Which is the YouTuber he went after, um, and I'm looking into like stuff that he's done. Like, is this just a joke or like what's the the story behind it? And I keep seeing all these people talking about how like he, him and his friend Agent 19 would do super ops on people and just you know dox them and do all this other shit. Um, and so I'm looking through YouTube. I'm looking up all these videos, 
and I come across one which is like a compilation of older YouTube videos, and it it, it talks about him and some like really weird sex shit, right? And oh, so I, yeah. I post it on Twitter, and I'm like, this rabbit hole is getting really dark. That's not even a declarative statement. I'm not saying anything about him personally. I'm just saying, you know, like this video that I've come across that somebody has uploaded to this website, it's some pretty dark shit in there. And he fucking flipped, right? Like that pissed him off. And I think that he thought, I, 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 this is what I believe is happening. I think, I, I think he believes that you are familiar with all of this and that you think it's funny too. And now you're on his shit list. Right? Like, that's the only conclusion I can come to. It must be. And the funny thing was, I wasn't, but now I am, and it is hilarious. It is absolutely. I hope we get to discussing that that wonderful chocolate sorbet or whatever. Oh, um, yeah. When he, yeah, the two girls, one cup thing. Uh, we, yeah, we've got a lot of fun stuff planned. I, I think oh. it'll, I think it'll be enjoyable, but we'll, we'll kick it back off at, uh, <laughs> at 5.07 to listen to his master plan. Let's, uh, continue. Yeah, I used to come get me. Uh, until, of course, I release that audio recording of the vice president of security admitting wrongdoing by their junior executive. I know, it's, it's horrible, isn't it? So you <sighs> have involved yourself in this, Nikki. Just terrible. And now you're going to pay for it. Nikki. You sure are? Because this is the way it works. Isn't that neat? When somebody puts something on the internet and it's so egregious, it's so horrible, it's so disgusting riddled with lies and people are just making up shit as they go along and they put your face to it and your name and all that garbage right because they're pissed off at you or because they're vindictive who knows or they're sick in the head who cares you flag the video when the video doesn't come down and it's blatant terms of service violation but for whatever reason the artificial intelligence of YouTube overlooks it and says, oh, we don't see a violation. Well, let me ask you a question. It is artificial there, intelligence. I'm, that's next? right. <laughs> Legal action. Well, I think you got to flag Legal down the Girl action. Scout cookie. I hope you put person. your nose. Like, Legal case. action. Yeah, here, I'll pause it at 625. <clears throat> yeah, like, so, and again, I, I'm still learning about this guy. So, I, you know, I came across this video, which was a compilation. Mm -hmm. Of some like some two 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 thing, right? I have no idea what the fuck that is. I, I don't even know who this nutcase is to begin with. So I, I'm like watching it, and there's a little bit of information up, and it looks like it was back from 2015. And I I'm wondering if he thinks that video is still up because he talks about it like it is. That's why he's filing a federal lawsuit against Google because he thinks <laughs> the screen cap is a live video right now on YouTube when it's really a part of a compilation video talking about uh, like past shit that happened. So what's what's funny is um, I haven't seen anything degenerate about this guy created by anybody other than him. That's the weird part of it. Like all of the nasty weirdo uh, degeneracy I've seen was his own video. <laughs> right. And, and like the rough timeline that I can knock out or at least how I understand how things are going right now. Um, so drummer made this video 10 years ago, right? And he was talking about a situation where somebody who knew Monograph was involved and in like he got catfished, right? The guy, this guy that Monograph knew, I can't remember his name, but he got catfished Wait, by, oh, go ahead. With, with all that, with all that, uh, that OPSEC and human that they got on, that someone still got catfished? It must have been super CIA agents, I'm guessing. I, I don't know. I mean, we'll find or out how the, it, the feds are after them. Or was it an inside job? Oh, is, <laughs> has Agent 19 turned? Well, we'll never know, I guess. But no, I, so the guy that he knew got catfished by somebody claiming to be like an underage girl. And everybody's like, oh, this guy's like a, a yubophile. He's like a pedo or something. Um, and Drummer made a video about it, talking about it. And, you know, people at the time were saying, well, Monograph is defending this guy. He won't throw him under the bus. Um, and, like, that starts this weird thing. And then, like, four or five years later after that, there's this weird shit with 222 Gang, uh, where he gets brought up again with, like, some weird sex shit. He's got videos up there of like a girl in bondage gear with a pig mask on. <laughs> you know, I don't know what the fuck that was about, but that's another thing. Um, you know, I, I, it's just there's a lot of weird shit, but there's only like bits and pieces of it left. You know what I mean? Like I get the feeling yeah. he flagged down a lot of it. So, I, but yeah, it, I guess to wrap it up, he's convinced, or at least I believe he thinks, that this video, this this two 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 thing, is still up on Google. No, man, it, it was on somebody's account. It's a compilation video 
and it's talking about it, but it's only got like three minutes worth of shit because he's flagged everything down. Uh, so we'll we'll kick it back off at six twenty five. Uh, let's go. I hope you read every last word and do me a big favor. Be sure to read mine. I, I'd be the plaintiff. I, uh, apparently, Mister Hampton doesn't know who the plaintiff and the defendant is. We had to learn some on that. So hopefully, we had you're to learn, learn in these matters. <laughs> Please read the plaintiffs in that case. Read the insummation. That wraps it all up. Save yourself a lot of time. And Can read I read the, the insemination instead? I'm giving you full permission right now because I did. You probably already did it. You're going to pull my record, and it's going to be pristine. Not I, you know, I'm going to pause it right here. This, this I thought was weird too. At 708, what yeah. he, he said, you're going to do this. You're going to pull my record. Well, you're, I mean, you're a lawyer. Yeah. But how are you going to get like, what is he, what is he talking? Like pull my record. Like you have magical knowledge of who he is exactly his location, his full name. And you're yeah, going to pull his record. I have no, I, well, other than knowing that he's like Stephen quest or whatever, uh, is that, is he, I don't know if he's related to Johnny quest. Well, but, you know, um, I, I, let me, let me just say this in regards to the Stephen quest thing. I mean, that is on the legal documents we're going to be reading. Uh, but I found a video from 10 years ago, right? Uh, yeah. It could even be older. It was from Blog TV. I, I got a clip of it. Uh, later on, I'll play it. Where he says that uh, Steve Quest, that name, is a DBA. Do business as alias. That's not his real name. Um, and the thing is, when you look at the legal documents, the address he lists for the filing, you know, like his name, and, and then he gives his address, it's a fucking TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but, I mean, he might be in a dressing room in all these videos, to be fair. Well, it be might fair. be, it could be, it could be dressing room 127. I mean, you're, you're correct about that, but um, I don't know if that's his real name. And the fact that he's filing, uh, you know, his own, uh, you know, like lawsuits against people from fucking TJ Maxx may, <laughs> makes me think that maybe that, maybe Steve Quest, uh, I, uh, can you use a DBA? Is that even a thing? Can you even use that on a lawsuit? Um, I mean, if you're suing on behalf of an organization, sure. Uh, but as an individual, no. Um, the the plaintiff has to list their legal name, right? Uh, you don't, unless they, uh, I guess, manifest to the court some some sort of need for anonymity. And there's a process for that. You have to you have to file a motion for it. You file it, so it's a confidential motion requesting uh, protection, identity protection from the court. And then you'd get to file as a John Doe. You wouldn't get to file as a DBA unless you're filing on behalf of an entity that uses a DBA. Maybe he's like a cool sovereign citizen corporate oh, person. He, he, no. Yeah. It, it, I, I, there's definitely some sovereign citizen shit going on here. Uh, he makes a very clear distinction between his legal name and his other names. So oh, good. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what we're dealing with. But what I find it, we'll, we'll talk about it too. When we get to the uh, Morphonia stuff, uh, but, you know, Jake is like, yeah, I filed my uh, my countersuit against him and I got him under perjury to say that he was Steve Quest. Now, if his name isn't that, if he filed a bullshit lawsuit with a fake name and a fake address and then he told the court, this is really who I am. Uh, is he putting himself out for legal trouble if Jake were to pursue that? Yeah, well, that that would be I mean, that would be perjury and, and pursuing it with the court could involve that can involve criminal charges against him um it's unlikely just because the court would be like oh my god get the weirdo out of here please right we have real stuff to deal with but uh it's certainly possible and if he were to keep i think the real issue would be is if he were to keep pushing pushing the issue against uh the other guy that would be the that would be what would piss the court off enough to really look into it um because and, he, and he burn him he, yeah because he went to the court case like right. he, he went uh with somebody else maybe agent 19 uh, and, you know, like Jake was like, yeah, we went to the court and the judge kind of basically laughed at him. Um, but like, I guess that's the other thing, too, uh, from what my understanding is, you know, from all those DUIs, when you when you go to court, <laughs> uh, you have to get you usually have to show a photo ID to get through the security checkpoints. I mean, if he did use a fake name on his lawsuit, but then he went to court, wouldn't there be a log of who showed up around that time that they could cross check if Jake wanted to pursue that? Yeah. And then you might find his true name and have power over him. <laughs> right, because I, 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 I just it seems crazy to me that somebody would uh, use a fake name and address, go to court, and then uh, try to sue somebody uh, with a DBA and an alias. So again, I, this is all I I don't know. All I know is he identifies by like five different names, 
and people have given him five different names. But he himself claims, and he's claimed for a decade, that Steve Quest, the name that he put on the lawsuit, is a fake name. It's an alias. He uses it for business only. It's ballsy, and if I had to guess, he's familiar with balls. Um, <laughs> the uh, the other thing I, I do want to say, there is no magical like attorney resource for looking people up, looking people's record up. I mean, I could go through the same channels as anybody else to request a criminal background check on someone, and um, no, I I didn't do it, and probably wouldn't because uh, what what purpose would there be? I, yeah, I figured it'd be harder for you guys. I mean, like, like debt collectors have access to a, a special national database where you can put in like just barely any information and get everything. Like, I, I, a debt collector could probably get more information on him than a fucking lawyer could. Like, it's, it struck me as really weird that he's like, "Oh, you're going to get all this information on me." I'm like, "What are you? What is he talking about?" Yeah, I mean, I'd have to pay for a BCA report just like anybody else. Um, there's no. Uh, there's no special back door for attorneys. He did insinuate that the back door is always open, but not for attorneys. Yeah, well, I mean, you are a handsome man. Can you really blame him? <laughs> he put you in that bondage gear. But we'll uh, we'll pick up again at 7.08. Sound good? Yeah, sounds uh, great. All right, let's go. A blemish on it. You're going to also see that I worked in telecommunications for over 21 years. 21. A lot of those years was a PBX programmer for federal facilities like Raytheon. <gasps> Raytheon's a private company. Of- oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pause it again real quick. Yeah, again, right? He tells these stories about having super se- like secret security clearance, and he'll be like, I work for the government. I work for the FBI and the CIA and all, and Raytheon. And then <laughs> and then he'll say, and I took the CIA down. Like, he'll say that he worked for Deep Sag, you know, like a Deep State, whatever, and then he'll say that he destroyed Deep State. So, like, I don't know which one to go with. Is he is he the super secret agent? Or is he the rebel taking the government down? He took down the deep state so he could rebuild it in his own image. Uh, apparently, that's what he's up to. <laughs> All right, uh, 725, let's go. Mm-hmm. The FBI, GTE. I'm not a dummy, dude. So I understand every wow. last detail when it comes to that telephone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have an ex- really exciting announcement are you excited i am when mr anti-bully decided to put the 222 jb smeary garbage upon his twitter account nikki over here nikki head counsel (laughs) head counsel the sweaty sausage (laughs) squad decided to put his hand in the ring even though he had no idea what he was commenting about that's true shame on you buddy Shame on me. What did I do? I picked up the telephone and gave Nikki a call. Ooh. Sure did. Yep. <laughs> Pay attention, Nikki, because I'm going to I'm gonna relinquish the future to you. And <gasps> relinquish you exactly it. Exactly. Well, now I get to have control. That's great. It is, it's going to happen exactly. He's a very giving man. <laughs> Minnesota is a one-party state. Colorado is also a one-party state. I am not required to give the two-party notification. No, I'm not. But because why'd you I'm a do nice it then? Person, I- oh, I'll pause it at 842. Did he give you like a mini Miranda? Did he say, hey, I'm recording you? He said, uh, you know, he asked if he had my consent to record. And then he just started talking right away. So it took me a second to actually process what was going on and respond. So he was talking. I started answering. And I said, wait a minute. I, I don't consent to being recorded just in case you're in a two party state. Because shockingly, I don't know. Uh, other than I know Minnesota is a one party state cause that's the only one that typically matters to me, but I don't know that California or Colorado is one or two parties. So I said, just in case it's a two party, uh, I don't consent, but well, he's making, that's the thing too. I mean, I don't even know if he's from Colorado, like with the fake address from TJ Maxx, who knows? Sure. Yeah. And I, ha- I, who knows, uh, where he is when he's doing this, it, he could be under, he could be in any TJ Maxx really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and any dressing room, you never know, lurking behind the uh, the clothing. And so, uh, I, like I said, I just don't consent to things. Like if a cop asks me to search my car, I don't consent. Whether I have something or not, it doesn't matter. And I give the same advice to clients. Like why why make things easier for people? But he's making a big deal out of out of this uh, two party consent rule that he's he's going to cite and it's like well, I mean I guess well, he did work for Raytheon. I mean, he is the expert on two-party consent phone recordings. Yeah, exactly. He's he's he definitely programmed all of Raytheon's two-party phones or whatever. Oh, I mean, yeah, he was in charge of that. Like I that's why you're jealous of him, I think. 
Okay, it I, is. It, it kind of bleeds through a little bit. It's a little shameful, but I mean, I still like you. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, I have my flaws. All right, eight forty-two. Let's go. I, in fact, gave you the two-party notification at the very beginning of the call under the rules of engagement in telecommunications law. That's not a rule of engagement. It works like this. If a two-party notification is given, you have two choices. Keep running your mouth or hang up. That's not true. You kept running That is absolutely mouth. not true. Oh, well, we'll pause it again at 9.05. Um, I, well, I, okay, let's say that maybe you're confused and you don't understand that this guy was in charge again of Raytheon's phone <laughs> protocols. Um, but we're talking rules of engagement, Nikki. This That's is a true. fucking yeah. internet war. I don't know if you're aware, but you're dealing with a, a mastermind here. I mean, this guy is, uh, look at him. He's a fucking genius, really. Um, well, I'm going to have to call my direct contact to Donald Rumsfeld and find out what the rules of engagement are. <laughs> are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm fairly certain there's not something called the rules of engagement when it comes to fucking phone conversations. That's a new one on me, but uh, what what's your take on it? You're either you're in a one party state, which requires one party to the communication uh, to have to offer their consent to the recording. So if, if it's you and someone else, then you have to give the consent and that's fine. You can record the call as long as it's the state where the recording is being made as well. So if it were me, I could have recorded this without his consent because I have mine. And uh, if Colorado's a one-party state, as he says, which I'm inclined to doubt whatever he says just out of principle, but if it's true, then he's able to record the call whether I consent or not. Now, if you're in a two-party state, you must achieve, you must attain the consent of both parties or you have to uh, stop the recording and delete whatever you have immediately. Otherwise, it, it is illegal to uh, produce that recording or to publish it or to try and use it for any sort of purpose. So... Um, and technically to possess it, but how would anybody ultimately know? But, uh, there is, there's no like, well, if you're in a one party state and you do give a consent thing that there's a rule that says you have to do this or do that. No, they can just record the call. That's so I, I guess he's right that I could hang up the phone, but, um, but I really wanted to talk to him. I was lonely. Well, I mean, you heard the man, Nikki. I, I like I, I don't know I have I've noticed that when people certain people he kind of fits into this category get mad they end a y they add a y to the end of the name like you're yeah. no longer Nick you're Nikki so <laughs> you know that you're fucking in trouble dealing with this dude um, but yeah he said I mean you heard him you 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 had to keep running your fucking mouth and now you're gonna suffer because you're gonna find out what he's got in store for you and oh, it's God. Uh, it's pretty spooky uh, we'll the worst thing in my life would be him <laughs> publishing that phone call it will. I'll look so bad. Oh no, that's just that's just step one. He's got more steps uh, in this master plan, but we'll we'll continue on at nine oh five. Let's go. Three quarters of the way into the call, you said something a little naughty. You said something that you believed may haunt you yeah. later, and it was at naughty that boy. time that you told me to stop recording, in which I did. So let me tell you what's going to happen there, Nikki. I'm going to release that audio recording to the. Oh public. no, not the public. All the way up to the area which you tell me to stop. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll pause it uh, at 9.32. What do you mean, uh, no? I tell him to stop. Why would I tell him to stop? <laughs> what, what kind of weird thing is 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 this where he's going to he's going to do what i don't want until i tell him not to um <laughs> yeah i guess you got a good it's a good point right like you get into a bar fight with somebody you're like i'm gonna keep hitting you until you say no <laughs> okay all right like what you know in for a pound in for a penny what are we doing here um yeah it's this is this is the most bizarre baffling yeah bizarre baffling thing that in i mean I haven't been on the internet that long. No, this this dude's a special case. Like, um, you know, when I looked into the drummer stuff and I did my first stream on him, I, I said, you know, this is a dude that if you laugh at him or you talk about the goofy shit he does, he's putting you on a list. And all you did was one tweet, and five minutes later, he's recording a phone call with you, and now he's going to teach, he's going to destroy you because you tweeted out at me saying, uh, basically, LOL, uh, good luck getting sued. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and, and again, I can't, I can't reiterate enough. Uh, I hadn't, 
kept up with your with your tweets or videos or or anything that you've said about this guy, which I think is just tweets up to this point, and maybe some clips of him in those tweets. Essentially, uh, yeah, that's basically all it is. I mean, I had seen him go by a couple times, but um, you know, I've got I've got so many weebs uh, with the twitters right now. Oh that yeah, I, you got your own your own rules of engagement weeb war going on right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I I hadn't followed it up. So when this guy calls me up and says, "Hello, I'm Montagraph from Twitter," I'm like. All right. I thought he was going to talk to me about Vic's case. Uh, I I literally have no, I I thought he was going to say, did you see what Monica Rial or Ron Toye said today? (laughs) So that's, that's the, the mindset that I was in receiving a phone call because those are phone calls that I actually get. Well, is that your strategy going forward? And the next time he calls you, are you going to talk about your favorite anime and just see how it goes with it? (laughs) I'm going to I'm going to pull up a bunch of yaoi titles that I think he's definitely watching and reading and I'm just going to ask him I'm going to ask him who his husband is or whatever. <laughs> That's it's a difficult question for a man that likes putting people in bondage gear and having them suck toes on Twitter. So <laughs> he's going to have an interesting ac- or answer I'm sure on that one. I um, hope so. Yeah, we got like 6 more minutes. Uh, yeah, let's his, do his, it. his master plan's coming up. We'll uh, go back at 9:32 and go because I committed no crimes. I gave you the two-party notification, and it it's is clear, clear as, as a bell. bell. If you feel that you're going to use what is called professional courtesy in your jurisdiction to open up an investigation against me for violating Why would I do that? laws, I don't know. They're going to do that investigation. They're going to laugh at you, and nothing's going to happen. Can we pause it real quick? If by- yeah, of course. Why on earth? Would I open up a wire investigation over a phone call? My God, my day was not ruined by some weirdo calling me. I'm a lawyer. I have weirdos call me all the time. <laughs> what? They're called other lawyers usually, but but uh, do people do this? Like, well, is that a thing where you like like Jim? You you get yeah. a phone call sometime. Mm-hmm. Are you calling up your local uh, district attorney, being like, "Look, I need you to." extend some professional courtesy and open a federal wire investigation into this phone call I got? Well, I mean, you could always try, God, I know it's a weird strategy, but if it really bothers you, uh, don't pick the phone up. (laughs) Yeah, or block (laughs) the number or it's any number of strategies I could have employed. Why would anybody? Okay, sorry. I'm just... No, no, it it is. He strikes me as a, uh, what he sees as like a big fish in a small pond kind of scenario. Um, this is a shit he, uh, this is kind of what I saw happen uh, with his history throughout the internet, is he would do this stuff to people to like try to, I guess, intimidate them. Like, oh, hey, I can call you, Nikki. I know what your phone number is, so you're fucking with the wrong one kind of mindset. And he's kind of running into people now that don't really care. And I don't think he knows how to respond to that. Like, it's fucking him up. My phone number is on my, you just Google Ricada Law and you can find my law office's phone number. Uh, this is not like uh, I, I I wonder if he thinks that I think he did some super docs to to find my publicly available phone number that I put out for advertisement purposes. Well, yeah, this guy treats Spokio <laughs> like it's a fucking dowsing rod. Like he acts like a Google Maps is like some second sight kind of shit with his psychic powers. Like he made a video about drummer where he took a like an eight year old video of some place that drummer used to live. And then he like overlaid Google Maps on it. And he's like, my he uh, honest to God, he's like, my psychic powers pinpointed you. <laughs> and, and the funny thing with the drummer thing is, he he gets all these docs together, right? This address, names, and everything. It's the wrong guy. Drummer doesn't live. The, it, he doesn't live there anymore. He's going after the guy that lives there right now. So drummer drummer like archives all of this, puts it on a little flash drive, uh, gets a hold of the guy, and he's like, yeah. You know, this this nutcase on the internet is, like, smearing your name and he's saying he's going to come after you and do all this, this shit to you. Um, here's here's a flash drive with everything, you know. And he titled it Free Money and he gave it to the guy. Um, he's Yeah, he's not, he's, not, uh, he's not really impressive when you look at his super hacking abilities, let's just say. Mm, okay, I'm, we'll, I'm we'll, shocked. We'll, we'll continue off uh, 9.55 and go. By chance, the professional courtesy goes from your state to my state. And my state comes by and gives me a little ticket, says show up in court. I'm not the plea bargain guy. Let's you, go to trial. It'd be your state. I don't plea care bargains. what you do. We don't do <laughs> plea bargains. Isn't that That's neat? neat. That's sure neat. Sure is. So pay attention, Nick. Don't get pissed off. And that audio recording is okay. splashed all over the internet. And tens of thousands I don't, of people. Hold on. It. Hold on. Okay. Uh, 
press X to doubt on tens of thousands of people hearing anything Montagraph puts out. <laughs> just... well, you're, again, you're fucking with a thunder here. I've seen his live streams. He gets in at least a good 20 people watching. So your reputation's over, buddy. It's I mean, done. It's done. You're fucking... It's done. You might as well just drink yourself to death right now. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I've been waiting for this moment. Have you? Yeah, just open the <laughs> bottle up. And just let it let it take over. Um, okay, we'll, we'll continue off 1025. I haven't right, even go. brought in my allies yet. It's just little old me and Agent 19 for now. For Isn't now. this fun? I mean, you guys want to be superstars. You want to be famous. We're going to help you out. Who wants, We're gonna who wants to out. be famous? Oh, let me pause it. Uh, 1042. Yeah, okay, so he made a threat. He made a threat to me earlier. He's like, I'm going to make you famous. Uh, and so my <laughs> response was, awesome, do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's, uh, now he thinks you're that same mindset, so he's going to make you famous too. But I mean, uh, oh, I, it would be it would be devastating if more people found out about my public videos and, and YouTube channel. God, oh, I would hate it. I know. I would it, hate it. It's it's terrible. I mean, I, I know that it's a burden for you to have to live stream in front of like 10,000 people and make super <laughs> chat money. Um, hopefully, you know, he doesn't double that because Jesus, what what a what a hardship that would be. It'd be a real shame. All right, 1042, let's go. That call will be released. It sure will be. Uh-huh. And people of your profession can see the way you treated me. Oh, good. They can <laughs> hear the expression in your voice on how you talk to the public when they were simply trying to defend themselves through gross, and I mean gross, horrific defamation. Defecation, you mean? You got that there, Nikki? Nikki? I'll tell you what's going to happen <laughs> after that. I'm going to make tons of memes. Tons of them. Not the memes. Don't get upset <laughs> when you see your face and your law firm everywhere. Don't be upset. I'll I look at my face because every night. after all, it will be parody right yes back at you bud back at you i don't think i said his stuff We're was gonna parody. Learn you, buddy, how this is <laughs> i done. don't i don't know he's so We're crazy learn you real good and you'll never forget my name as long as you live nikki <laughs> and you have inserted yourself into this mess because you want to go sniff mr anti-bullies totes Ooh, those are some is that right Fragrant toes, okay. you got there. Yeah, let me, let me. I'll pause it at eleven fifty-five. Yeah, I, he's got something with toes. I don't know what it is, but a lot of the like he he keeps making tweets and then deleting them where he talks about sucking on toes. I don't know if that's a. Th <laughs> it's a weird projection. I don't understand it. I've got to. I've got to warn you, Jim. I have five kids. I'm pretty good at inserting myself. So you better. Oh. You better. You better perfume up those toes and get ready. Oh, <laughs> it's 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 fucking coming. It's coming. Uh, yeah, he's, he he nailed you one hundred percent with this. This meme is some hot shit. Uh, all right, uh, eleven fifty-five. Let's go. Okay. Good. Don't be upset when that audio drops. I Don't won't be upset. upset. I Don't cry. Literally Don't will not cry Do or whine. Something. I want you to. Do, Do what? Do you I want me to? I don't know. <laughs> Here's the thing, there, Nikki. Pay attention. I'm not a Q boomer. Stop running your mouth. You don't oh, you're a Q boomer, me. all right. Whatever that is. He's uh, absolutely Q a Q is boomer. A fraud. Go print that. Print it, Nikki. Q has been a fraud since I hit print just now. Thanksgiving of 2017, because it was taken over by an Australian company. <laughs> Dude, don't make me learn you in public. It's going to be extremely embarrassing. What do I have to pay to be learned in private? Like double. I said, I Please haven't even pulled any favors yet. It's going to get real good real soon. It sure is. But here's the thing, Nikki. I'm not going to snap. You'd wish nope. I'd snap, but I'm not going to. How I'm going to deal with all of this is drag people in the courtroom under civil civil torts. And if necessary, include you that, in I, it, seeing that you want to be there's a some pop tart, pop seeing torts that you in there. Think <laughs> that the general public is afraid of you when we're not. And here's another thing, there, Nikki. Oh, here it comes. Seeing that you're so quick to jump in a pool. Hmm. Here's his plan. Where you don't have any of the information. You're only going That's on true. hearsay. You're only going on what people are saying to you yep. in tweets. You're only going on what you've heard because you didn't investigate, because you're lazy. I was driving, to be fair. You're calling me a Q-boomer, and I'm the guy that busted Q. I've never called him a Q-boomer until now. 
<laughs> well, let me let me. I'm gonna posit it. Uh, 1341. Um, I've been referring to him as a Q Larper. Uh, <laughs> all right, chat. Here, here's the real story as far as I understand it. Okay, um, this dude is 100% in favor of Q. All right, he is the super Q boomer, and he loves Q. Don't listen to what he's saying. It's all deep cover bullshit. He is uh, he is the Q boomer supreme, and Nikki here in that secretly recorded audio. Uh, just kept screaming Q Boomer at him for like 20 minutes during that drive. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's actually the truth. I'm, I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> <laughs> you've, been, you've been busted. Uh, yeah. Now here's where he's going to reveal his. I, I think this should be coming up in like a few seconds. His master plan. Uh, this is how he's really going to fuck you into the dirt. Uh, so we'll continue oh. off at uh, 1341. Yeah. And identified the person that was Q. Sorry electronically can back it up electronically back it up and you're sitting over there with that big man you got a big old nose you know what i was thinking he I figured know, out had a big nose about turn you upside down and turning that nose into a planter i could put like two little flowers in there and just, <laughs> just get a garden it. in your face <laughs> oh that'd be great <laughs> you can laugh at yourself yes you? i i can I can because i tell you what huh ask around Has, i'm gonna start you making what? memes it's gonna be a has he seen Roxanne with it Steve sure Martin? Is. Because you, Probably. Nikki, are the head counsel for the Sweaty Sausage Squad. Oh no! You know what? We're gonna make a whole new website just for you. There it is. I'm gonna change your banner. I'm gonna change Twitter. It's gonna be tons of fun. I hope you can laugh at yourself. I'm sure that Mr. Anti Bully will love it. Yes, I will. I'm positive <laughs> all these other troll tars. Absolutely. They're accusing me of shit I never did in a million years. I bet you even they will laugh at memes I'm going to make. God, I hope so. It's gonna be if you're going to work that shows. hard. He's building your own website. I saw one of your shows. What are you I on, won't dude? do it, so somebody on? has to. Um, when you said a small attorney's firm in Minnesota, yeah. man, you ain't I'm kidding. not kidding at all. You're absolutely right about that. Um, Probably the smallest one you'll the find. problem with Mr. Anti-Bully. He doesn't know his enemy doesn't know because I'm his enemy now. Oh, he's declared it. Because he's accused me should have never done in a million years. What Nikki, did you accuse him you're of? You're my enemy now because... Oh, uh, look, I'll, I'll pause it. We're almost done anyway. Uh, 1523. Um, I, I, the only things I've accused him of are the things that I've seen him actually do and that are archived, which is right. admitting to doxing people, admitting to flagging people, admitting to suing people, and uh, claiming in audio on stream that he called the police on people. Like, I have not accused him of doing anything which he has not explicitly himself stated he has done. Um, as in regards to the, the 222 thing, I made no declarative statements with that. I merely said, boy, this rabbit hole is getting dark. So I, he, I, I guess he's imagining I'm saying things that I'm not saying, even though I'm not the one deleting tweets. He is. So, but is the, is the melon hole getting dark? Oh, it, it's, <laughs> it's going to be getting dark. We're getting to the melons pretty quick here. Oh, God. Um, yeah, we got like a minute left. We'll just let it play through. Uh, yeah, yeah. 1523. That shit you said on your phone call, dummy. And I don't care what you're going to do about it. But you know what's really neat? I've got a bunch of servers up there in Minnesota. <laughs> Maybe I can swing by and visit you and all. We can go to lunch. Would you like Yeah, that? I'd go to lunch. Go out for a couple of beers and that. Hang out on the lake. Smoke a couple of cigars. Yeah. You can tell me how wonderful you're not. Okay. I'm just sounds, merely defending myself. Sounds like a date. Against jackasses like an attorney like yourself, Nikki. Attorneys are the a worst. Tiny, teeny weeny, itsy bitsy, puny woony law firm puny in the state of Minnesota. <laughs> it is going to get so much attention when your audio drops of the way you're talking to me because I'm merely trying to defend myself. God, I wish it would have been meaner. That is all, Nikki. See you on the other side. Oh, don't take that the wrong way. Ooh, sorry. I mean, I'll see you on the other side of the interwebs. Settle down. I was hoping you meant on the other <laughs> side of my underwear or something. Oh, hey, getting a little dirty there. This guy promised to take me to dinner, take me out on the lake, give me some <laughs> beer and a cigarette. He better own up to that. Well, you know, I mean, he is a romantic. I can't, I can't deny the fact that this man, he's, he's a sweetheart. Maybe maybe he should be in charge of the uh, Sweetie Squad. If he brings the beer and cigars, I'll bring the, the Bluetooth speaker and the Barry White playlist. 
So that was a kind of a compilation uh, for people that weren't really familiar with who Montagraph is. Like that's what you saw in those videos. That's what I've been watching for the past month, what he would do <laughs> to drummer. And then when I finally talked about it, uh, much like he did to you after just mentioning like once or twice, suddenly I'm on the shit list. I'm getting sued. Uh, servers are going to come subpoena me. Uh, Google's going to, uh, you know, bow to his will kind of shit. But um, this isn't, you know, like these aren't empty threats, I guess is the way I, I should put it. Because he has tried to file legal motions before. If you want to pull up the link I gave you and we'll, we'll just kind of go through it. Maybe you can give us your opinion as you read through it. Um. Yeah, these uh, these are the uh, what you call it the Blackstone Intelligence Network one. Yeah, I'll, I'll just read I'll read the page and then we'll look through the filing from him and then the counter filing I guess from Morphonius. Sure. Um, it shouldn't take too like Morphonius. Are, are okay, just so everybody knows, they're both representing themselves. Um, I don't know if Morphonius has a legal background or if he consulted with a lawyer before he sent stuff in, but like he sent in a twenty-three page reply, right? But when we look at uh, what what Steve sent in, what uh, Monograph sent in, it's like four pages, and two of them are blank. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know. You know, like it's just really weird to me. Um, so let me let me uh, pull that up, and then uh, we'll we'll go through that. And I think people are going to really like the melon stuff. So <laughs> we'll do that. Um, just give me one second here. Sure. Okay. Hopefully, I mean, God, I, how are you hand, uh, How are you holding up? I guess. Are you are you shook? Are you scared right now? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I'm a little scared. I'm sad. I'm sad that I lost all my guns in the lake years ago. Uh, I'm worried about what my family will think of me when they see the memes. Well, he, he likes to remind people that he lives in a stand your ground state. Like he said this in a couple other streams, um, where he's like, I've got three guns. It's stand your ground. Tr do it. Try me, Nikki. <laughs> it's, it's something I mean, else. The real, the really, the hardest part is the disappointment on my children's faces. I know it's hard to live with. Okay, I think I've got this pulled up. Um, yeah, it's the Blackstone Intel uh, and Monograph thing, and okay. pe people will see the link if you guys want to check it out um, on your own and just just read through the crazy. Feel free to. Um, I, I guess uh, you know the guy that runs it put it up for everybody to see what this guy's like. So um, let's let's take a look through. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll just read through and we'll get to the to the the legal. Pr filings, I guess. Uh, Blackstone Intelligence Network, Morphonius defeats Quest. Notorious cyberstalker meets his match. For over a decade, an online cyberstalker going by the name Montagram harassed, bullied, threatened untold numbers of victims. The internet is rife with complaints from his victims who suffered from serial abuse that they felt they could do nothing about. Monograph used other names including Umbrella Man, Elite Rule, October Reigns, I'm Your Ghost, and often partnered with another anonymous troll who hides behind the name Agent 19. Some wondered if Monograph's real name was actually Steve Quest or Dale Ellis Bennett, among others, but they could never be certain. Monograph repeatedly denied being either of these men. This uncertainty was made nearly, or it made it nearly impossible for victims to sue their abuser. In April of 2019, Monograph decided to target Jake Morphonius during a live broadcast of the Blackstone Intelligence Network as he discussed the need to show empathy and civility towards the parents of children who were slain in the Sandy Hook school shooting. So just so people are familiar what started this, apparently Jake said, hey, uh, try to be nice to people whose kids got killed. And Monograph <laughs> took offense to that and was like, fuck them. So <laughs> I guess that's, that was the touchstone. Uh, Monograph was banned by moderators, uh, but repeatedly cycled through multiple user accounts pretending to be different people. In response to the harassment, Morphonius ad er, advised his audience to look up the ample evidence of Monograph's unethical and deviant activities. They sent Monograph into a rage. Over the next 24 hours, he made multiple threats to travel to Morphonius' home to confront him face to face. Morphonius advised Monograph that further threats would result in court action to, pre er, to preempt such action and hoping to generate some degree of internet fame for himself by attacking a much more popular personality. Monograph filed a frivolous defamation lawsuit against Morphonius. Um, so should we open that up? Do you want to take a look at the original filing? Yep. Um, that, uh, that should be the C. Steve Quest original complaint. Yeah. That, this uh, this is one of those great uh, pro se forms that you go down to the court administrator and get, and you get to, you get to scrawl in, in <laughs> with your, with your excellent handwriting on the three lines they give you. <laughs> to no. explain this, your cause of action. And, and to be fair, 
I, I believe these are legitimate court documents, but I, I don't know how to look through a court system to double check. But I'm going to guess that because Morphonius went through all this trouble, these are legit what he had filed against them and what he filed in response. They um, look they look very legit. They've got the they, you know, they've got the seal on there from the clerk of court. Uh, it'd be it'd be really annoying to file uh, to try and. Fake but, that. but but I would I would want to point out this, the, you know, address that's listed here. Um, I because somebody said it, it's a bullshit address, so I double checked it, and it really goes. It's a fucking TJ Maxx. So <laughs> you know, I I don't know what to make of that. Uh, is but, that number one twenty seven through two forty five? Well, you is never that... know. Yeah, you never know where he is. I mean, he could be in dressing room one twenty seven or maybe two forty five. You just don't know. You got to show up to find out. Really, is he like a mall cop, and he he could just be anywhere he... in that strip center? <laughs> Steve Quest <laughs> is Paul Blart. Yeah, I mean, potentially. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, it, you got all this chicken scrawl. It, it gives the um, the notice of summons, I guess. Um, it, the the county they're suing in. This is all first page stuff. I'm guessing this is real basic shit when you do a pro se, right? With the uh, yeah, yeah. They just give you this this form and you you fill out the relevant parts. And uh, I mean, you could use it with an attorney, but you should fire that person immediately. Um, so this and, this is a summons then, right? This is what's being issued. Oh, let's see. So yeah, here's the summons, and this is just to tell you when to show up. Uh, and the the complaint will be the on starting on page three. Okay, but here's what I'm curious about. Like uh, starting on page two, everything under the affidavit of service, nothing's filled out. There's no declaration that they're 18 and older. Yeah, and uh, so your summons is page one. And then the affidavit of, affidavit of service is something you would turn in. And if you uh, – we're jumping ahead, but if you check out the defendant's answer – or not the defendant's answer, but the motion to dismiss that he filed, uh, he did cite an improper uh, – uh, or lack of service, oh. that, he should, that it should be dismissed for lack of service. So um, I didn't read through it all. I, I skimmed that that document, so maybe we'll get to it. But, oh. yeah, it uh, – well, yeah, that looks like I, a problem. Yeah, like on page three under subsection four, um, I guess this is his claim. Um, Jake Morphonius accused me of vile and disgusting acts during a live broadcast on his Blackstone Intelligence channel, defaming my character, in which thousands of people heard this publicly. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. How does that, is that, is that fine? Like, I don't know how these work. So is that good enough when you're sending this in? No. Um, you would have to probably list out the specific statements typically you know you'd have to say uh if you're only going to use four lines it's like he assault he punched me in the face on february of 2018 at this location type thing so that that's where you get this four thing if you're going to talk about uh, a defamation lawsuit you're going to have to lay out the defamatory statements um in your complaint typically or you're going to have to specifically say that the the accusations are false which he doesn't do right it just says he accused him of vile and disgusting acts right well were were they true because you can accuse people <laughs> of true things all day um if they're false then you have to state that they're false and if you don't then there's no there's no remedy that the court can provide Right, and then he's he's su he's suing him for twenty five k, which I mean that obviously kicks it out of small claims, right? So this would be uh, right, or I I, I don't uh, know I don't know how any of this works. So you're the you're the guy that would know this shit uh, on section three. Well, that's what the amount he wanted. Those are state specific. I would assume he picked twenty five thousand to be out of small claims, um, and and within the rules of of whatever court it is. Uh, I, I otherwise I don't know how he gets to twenty five thousand dollars. So, um, wait, so this is in North Carolina. Um, yeah. Well, oh, wait, the, that's the PO box of, of Morph Morphonius. Okay. never mind. Um, uh, well, I, I think Morphonius says what, what court they were in. I think this is the, the, yeah, they're, they're doing this in golden Colorado. Yeah. 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 It, it would have to be out of small claims court. Typically small claims have to be filed in the jurisdiction of the defendant where they reside. Okay. Um, or or maybe work. So and, and then it says two under subsection six on page three uh, does not want uh, trial by jury. So <clears throat> I mean, what do you think he imagined that he was going to send this in and say I want twenty five thousand dollars because he said mean things and I don't want a, a you know a jury trial? Did he think the judge was going to be like granted, <laughs> Mister T J Max? Here's your here's your money. Yeah, I think I think he did. Uh, I think he said, well, I've got such a solid legal case. This is legally defamatory. And therefore, I'm going to just win it and and not use a, a jury as a fact finder. I'm going to just go with the judge. 
Yeah, and there's and like I, I again, uh, you know, on the last two pages, five and six, I guess. Like there's, it, it just seems like he m didn't fill out a lot of stuff. I don't know if, again if that's normal or not, but there's a lot of blank spaces all over this fucking thing. Okay, uh, five and six look like the answer document that you would give to your opponent to allow them to have a form to to handle or to to fill out and return if they wanted to use it. Oh, I got you. So, okay. so that that must be why he left it blank, other than to just start to fill out the caption. Okay, okay, that makes sense. All right, so that that was his initial complaint. Um, Morphonius responded to Quest's complaint with a well-articulated motion to dismiss, citing ample case law. Um, we'll wait a second before we jump into that, just because I want to read to them <laughs> the exhibits. Is that cool with you? Yep, I'm fine with it. Um, in the process, Monograph was forced, and this is the other thing, uh, Monograph was forced to confirm under penalty of law that he is, in fact, Steve Quest, a resident of Lakewood, Colorado, who changed his name in Jefferson County from Roy Warren Marshall. Uh, there's much speculation as to the event that necessitated him doing this. Uh, by outing himself in court, Quest has given his victims a significant gift. Uh, they now have a real name to attach to their abuser. They no longer have to live with the fear and frustration of being targeted by an unidentified stalker who they cannot fight or fight back against. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of... I guess that voodoo magic's getting to me. Uh, Monograph oh. Quest has been making random threats for over a year that he was going to sue people, including big-name YouTubers. His handful of sycophants lapped up the armchair bravado, cheering him on. This stoked his ego, and after filing his suit, Quest went on to produce more than a dozen videos, bragging about how he was going to destroy Morphonius in court, ruin him for life, take his last dollar, stomp on Morphonius relentlessly. Quest also began threatening other victims, telling them that he was going to do to them what he was doing to Morphonius. Quest invited his audience of 50,000 subscribers to come support him at the first court hearing, an act that was clearly intended to try to intimidate Morphonius. Morphonius, however, is not one who can be intimidated, least of all by a man who dresses in drag and tapes himself French kissing children's dolls in scat fetish videos, uh, see exhibits 13 to 16, uh, or who schemes how to make more money off homemade videos of himself sodomizing defenseless melons on camera, <laughs> exhibits 17 to 20. Um, I love, them. I love that he- Defenseless melons. <laughs> <laughs> sodomizing them, brutally. I, do you think that uh, Jake had fun filing his counter notification with with uh, these exhibits included in all this shit? I'm guessing he did. Oh God, yeah, yeah. I think he enjoyed that a little bit. I think he might have had his own melon with him. <laughs> Sexually abused melons. <laughs> um, okay, well, we'll we'll jump back and look at uh, Jake Morphonius' mission or motion to dismiss. Um, and you you're the legal guy, so you you can take the lead on this. Just tell me what page you're on, so I can put it on screen for people. And uh, we'll just, I guess, go through it and you can give us your take on what you think on how he handled this in response to this particular guy. Sure. Well, let's let's just briefly hit the introduction. It says, Defendant Jake Morphonius is an independent journalist with a background in oh, financial wait, wait, crimes. Uh, okay, oh, sorry. Page one. Okay. We're good. All right. Go ahead. Uh, with a background in, uh, where, oh my gosh, financial crimes investigation who investigates geopolitical conflicts in the Middle East as well as other topics, including political corruption and government cover-ups. Publishes his report primarily on his YouTube channel, Blackstone Intelligence Network. On April 6, 2019, defendant conducted a live broadcast uh, discussing, discussing defamation lawsuits by parents of children who were killed in the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting. Defendant had interviewed Sandy Hook parents who lost children in the massacre and was talking to his audience about the importance of treating the grieving parents with compassion and civility, as opposed to the actions of anonymous internet trolls who tormented the parents of, uh, who tormented the parents of with false claims of them being paid crisis actors and that their children never actually died. During this broadcast, several anonymous trolls entered the online forum and began to disrupt the program. One provocateur cycled through multiple fake accounts during the broadcast. Defendant learned after the broadcast was over that some of these troll accounts were being operated by plaintiff Steve Quest and other unnamed associates. Uh, okay, so that's the, the background, which he kind of covered in the other thing. Um, but just to give the court a synopsis, I won't read all of this, but so sure. first he's... His argument is that uh, the defendant is not subject to personal jurisdiction in Colorado. Okay. Um, so the this means that the court doesn't have any right to bring um, Morphonius in front of the court, right? He he's not a resident of Colorado, and unless he's doing business in Colorado or has some sort of sufficient contact within the state, like he's in the state while committing the act, 
that would be a different story. But unless the you have some sort of nexus to the state to connect the defendant, they can't bring you in. You know, they can't just sue you in some state and expect you to show up. They have to show a reason why you should be expected to be in that state. Okay. Um, so then they, he lays out the standard for exercising personal jurisdiction, which looks like he probably did some research. He's got lots of case law cited in here. Yeah, I, I noticed uh, it was really, at least to me, again, as a layman, it looked really thorough. I mean, he's got a lot of shit listed in his response. And he's got, I mean, he's got the main cases you want to have. You want to have International Shoe. Uh, that's a long established case. You want to have, uh, what was it, Volkswagen is in here. Uh, yeah, Worldwide Volkswagen Corp versus Woodson. These are, these are, it's almost like he picked up a civil procedure book on jurisdiction, like a textbook, and just put the basic argument down from from that. It's okay. uh, without reading through it. It is it is thorough and it's likely correct. So, would you say the the I guess his counterfiling, at least the beginning of it, seems fairly decent? It's not crazy. I mean, it makes sense. No, it it makes it makes a lot of sense. And he's he's either done his homework or he's friends with at least. Uh, a, a law student, one of the two, you know, you, you get this argument is what you spend your first two semesters of law school learning in civil procedure. Um, so, oh, that makes uh, sense. Okay. yeah, so this, but it's, it's very straightforward. And I mean, he might've gotten it from a website or something, but it's, it's correct. So he just has to say, yeah, I, I'm not in Colorado ever. So why would I be there? Why would I go to court there? Uh, so general jurisdiction is inapplicable to client. So outside of having specific jurisdiction or personal jurisdiction over someone, you can have general jurisdiction over an act uh, or, or transaction that occurred within a state. So like, obviously, um, if you're just driving through the corner of a state and you run someone over, uh, then then you could be brought into court in that state. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but that, you know, doesn't happen. Uh here, so no, not domiciled, nor continuous and systematic general business contacts with Colorado to warrant jurisdiction. Uh, yeah, so there, there's nothing tying him to the state. So specific jurisdiction is in a, inapplicable to defendant, uh, which is similar to his, or specific jurisdiction, sorry. General jurisdiction would be the sufficient contact with the form. Specific jurisdiction would be with the transaction or act that occurred. And uh, again, yeah, he's just saying that there's nothing that he did in Colorado. Yeah, there, there's um, there's absolutely no reason you should be bringing me to this state for a lawsuit is essentially what the opening is. Right. And then if we jump down to page nine, section D, sure. uh, he, he's saying that even if um, they were to find jurisdiction, uh, exercise of the jurisdiction would be unreasonable because um, there's no, uh, it, it would be, He's going to make the argument, I'm guessing, that it's unduly burdensome and unfair to bring him in. And he does have the correct legal standard. At the very bottom of page nine, he starts it. The, the five-factor fairness test uh, set forth in Asahi and Burger King. Um, exercise this court would be unreasonable. And so then he's he goes through... Uh, yeah, he goes through the five points and makes the argument. This is, I mean, this is a very basic and very well-written... Um, legal defense you know legal motion to dismiss on these grounds yeah and it looks like you were talking about this earlier too when we we're looking at the uh, initial filing on the bottom of page 11 the invalid service of process yep uh so yeah personal service must be made um here uh now this might be let's see this might this might not be complete here. Typically, since he's not in Colorado, he would. I think he might have to be served under the rules of service in his home state. Uh, okay, wait. A copy of the plaintiff's complaint was improperly served by a Forsyth County, New North Carolina sheriff's deputy who left a copy of the complaint with defendant's minor child, age 16 years old, at his place of residence. Yeah, that uh, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, it, I mean, I don't without knowing North Carolina's specific rules. If you're gonna if you're gonna serve someone at their residence, you usually have to serve another adult at the residence. Um, oh, so but, he, uh, they, they ended up serving his kid. Yeah, the sheriff did, and and the sheriff's deputy might have just done that on purpose. Like this is stupid here. Oh, I got uh, you. Yeah. But but who knows? Um, so yeah, improper service. Uh, plaintiff fails to state a claim. This is your typical. Um, Almost, almost every civil case is going to make this argument because it's a one hitter quitter. 
uh, argument. Failure to state a claim upon which relief can be granted. So they'll say the pleadings are not specific enough, which is true. Um, and and he goes through the justification as to why. So, so far and, in, his, in his answer, he's basically said, um, you know, suing me in this state doesn't make sense. You have no jurisdiction. You serve me improperly. And you're, you're not even really... It seems like he's just going down the list of everything he could list when he's putting this in front of a judge, right? Yeah, and he's doing it in the proper way. Uh, first of all, you don't have jurisdiction, so it should go. Next, even if you do have jurisdiction, it was served improperly, so I'm not appearing before the court yet. Next, uh, if you find jurisdiction and you find service proper, this this case fails for failure to state a claim. And then, uh, then here at the bottom of 15, he asked for dismissal with prejudice based on frivolous and vexatious complaint. This is the part that I believe the court did not grant fully because okay. they – they did dismiss the lawsuit without prejudice, um, and that's because of the failure to properly serve and the lack of jurisdiction. They're just not gonna they're not gonna dismiss a, a suit with prejudice if it's not even served properly and there's no jurisdiction of the court to act. Um, well, let's on say, the first try. Yeah, if this had been served properly uh, against Morphonius, um, do you think his other the other answers in his counter notification were decent? Do you think the judge would have dismissed based on the other stuff? Oh yeah. Yeah, that uh, he would either have dismissed it or he would have demanded that uh, Steve here go ahead and, and issue an amended complaint that was that more fully li lists out the 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 pleading standards for defamation. Oh yeah, and then he starts exhibits on page sixteen. Yeah, uh, with with uh, I'll just uh, I'll read through a few of these. I, I guess these are exact quotes that he's listing at the bottom of the or attached whatever uh, things like you'll be ruined for life, dummy. You are an idiot. I will take your last dollar, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Get your checkbook ready. You have placed your livelihood in jeopardy. I'm going to financially ruin you and beyond. Ooh. Uh, lots of this. Uh, exhibit five. What is this? Uh, saying that. Okay. After defendant responded to plaintiff's threats by saying that it's wrong to threaten women, plaintiff responded with an additional threat. Mr. Quest is coming for you. Bet on that. And then all capitalized in person. This dude is out of his mind. Um, the, these are potentially actually criminal action, criminally actionable threats. Uh, um, well, yeah, it's a lot of exhibit six. Sorry for your luck, Jake. I have your exact location. We'll be seeing you face to face. Sure will. You can show me how tough you are. Be prepared to be stomped on relentlessly. Yeah, if you sent that to Minnesota, that would be potentially... Um, I mean, in Minnesota, if I say prepare to be stomped on relentlessly, that is a specific uh, act of battery, and that would be considered a terroristic threat. That's a felony um, in Minnesota. Well, this, uh, this guy is super smart, though. I mean, again, remember, he's the, the head of, what the fuck was it? Raytheon. There, yeah. there we go. <laughs> now, the, the part of the felony standard would be that you'd have to prove that this was some sort of imminently executable threat, which seems unlikely because I'm I'm not sure, uh, you know, if he could get out of TJ Maxx before his shift was over. Well, that that is true. Uh, uh, actually, let me see, because it goes right into conclusions. Oh, OK. Yeah, because I think that Morphonius filed a second, like a follow up to this with more evidence. I think he, he wanted to, but he didn't have to. So he filed his motion to dismiss, which was granted. And then if I if I read it right, he's got an answer that he was ready to file if the court, if the court denied his motion to dismiss. Oh, and but then he, here, yeah, and then in the exhibits, they have the screen caps of all the, um, of all the, like statements. I've always wondered about this when you're when you're filing something like this and you're including exhibits. Um, is a screen cap good enough? I mean, should he have archives of it as well? Like, what if he deletes it? How does that work? Archives are better than screen caps. Um, either way, doesn't matter what you have. You'll have to, in a civil suit, you'll have to authenticate it. In a criminal suit, you know, they'll go through the process of authenticating it. So you'd have to ask him about it and and see if he made it. And if if he refuses to do that, then you have to have some sort of expert in YouTubery come on and talk about how this is his account. Uh, this is not easy to fake and that uh, this statement was made and, and you you basically make the argument that this is an authentic statement um, or you get them to admit it like in a deposition or something. Uh, but yeah, the archives are better because they're harder to, you know, they're much harder to fake than a screenshot. Okay. All right. Let, let me back out of this one then because that was the counter notification. I, I wanted to see if we could find 
Oh, okay, yeah. So he he maybe he lists these as second or like uh, separate documents, or these are on something else. Um, I mean, this is a really long one. Yeah, this must be the. Uh, this is a three hour. Yeah, he's talking about the broadcast he did with the threats and everything and the melon fucking. <laughs> I think is included in it. I, I just want to find that to show people what he had on that. He's got the two girls one cup video where he's eating uh, pudding and making it look like a shit. <laughs> Sucking on Barbie dolls. It's just all over the place. Um, yeah, and I, I know that more. Uh, I, God, cause their names are so cl uh, close. Monograph had said that um, you don't know who I am, you're, you're putting my name out there. But he, he did a Google search for Montagraph and then with the search term pedophile and a bunch of links popped up. Is that to show that he's not the one that started it, but that's something that already exists out there? Yeah, that that would be the uh, the thing there. I'm, I'm just reporting on who this person... It's also, it's a, it's a coy way to... Um, Get it entered into evidence. <laughs> yeah, to... I, I don't want to say to prejudice the judge, but to prejudice the judge a little bit. Because the judge is going to look at this and go, oh, dear Christ, what is this? Oh, and, and Exhibit 11. Okay, this, I guess, goes to his name, right? Uh, I, I Can you tell me what the hell this is? Um, this would be, let me make sure, like if you click on Exhibits 13 to 16, right, the document that pops up, Exhibit sure. 11, which would be on page 26, Yeah. Um, it says in the matter of, and then it lists uh, Roy Warrett Marshall, what, what am I looking at? Is this him trying to say this is a name change, or what exactly is this document? I'm going to guess this is the name change. Okay, and that's... Uh, so he somehow tracked it down. Right. So he's just... He's referencing the file here. He, I mean, to be ultimately thorough, I guess you would want to get a copy of the name change document and attach it uh, to here, but, you know, this is probably sufficient. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Marshall Roy Warren... Petitioner number one, and uh, date of birth, gender unknown, race, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Quest Steve K.A., petitioner two. So that I'm guessing that's just how they file those uh, name change things. It's it's weird because you, you like, in some states, I, I believe you do sue your own name. Oh, um, is, that, is that what you do? <laughs> sue yourself to change it, yeah? It's, it's weird. Uh, it should just be an administrative process, but it is a legal name change, so... Um, oh, okay. Uh, I'm guessing that's just how they have this listed in 1996. But you know, anybody could actually go. Here's the case number, and the the county, Jefferson County. You could actually go and and probably request a copy of these documents. But I, you might have to do it in person because they're old. Okay. Yeah. And then back on the the main thing to kind of wrap it up with the, this particular back and forth with them uh, to try to capitalize on the spectacle he was creating. Quest hoped to record the court proceedings for his audience. Only one sh uh, supporter had shown up. So unless he could record the court case to broadcast, nobody would see him ruin Morphonius. The judge denied this request, warning him that if he discovered to have recorded the proceedings, he would be arrested. Quest also petitioned the court to strike Morphonius' motion to dismiss. The court also denied. Uh, the judge advised Quest that he had 14 days to file a response to Morphonius' uh, motion to dismiss. Or Morphonius' motion to dismiss. Um, so would that show up? I mean, is there a way to see like if he actually is trying to follow through with this? And if he doesn't do it in the 14-day window, is that close it? He can never go after him again? Or how does that work? Yeah, I would think we could look through the Colorado court uh, county. I don't know if they e-file in this court. If they do, it'd be really easy. If not, you'd have to contact the particular courthouse and, and ask for the documents. So you had 14 days to file a response. That should have that should have been done by now, right? Cause yeah, that, that would be over by this point, I believe. Yeah, or it's I, very, it's very close to it if it's not completely over. I'm gonna guess what the answer is there. <laughs> it, it, it's yeah. So he wanted to live stream the uh, the court. Judge said no, uh, dismissed it, gave him 14 days, and then at the very end, you can see he he links to the documents again. But he says, Steve Quest, your reign of terror is over. <laughs> no longer will I live in fear of you. Uh, but yeah, this guy. I, what's what's your take? Well, how would you describe? our special little boy here. Oh, he's a lunatic, right? Um, he's just, you know, uh, the real flaw of our legal system is, is the fact that it, it costs a lot, whether you have anything to do, uh, with, with the case or not, you know, Morphonius, even if he represented himself pro se, he clearly put time into drafting these documents and uh, and that was a waste. That was a waste that that was unnecessary. Just because some moron on the internet had some hate boner for him, um, because of I don't know, did he 
what what did he even do? Did he ban him like from from his live chat or something like that? That's, yeah, yeah. That's what, what I, sparks this. <laughs> yeah, from what I understand, he was talking about Sandy Hook and said, "Hey, could you try to be nice to the parents?" Uh, Monograph took offense to that. Uh, they had a, a back and forth, and then apparently uh, Jake looked into who he was, and he came across the same stuff I did, right? Which is all this yeah. weird sex shit. And he's like, what the fuck is this guy's deal? Um, and then uh, <laughs> Monograph is like, I'm going to fucking sue you for this. And that's that's where we are. But it, it, again, this all kind of started in April or May. And in June, we have a lawsuit. So this guy's saying he's going to come after me. He's going to oh, sue. You're... Yeah, he, he's saying he's going to sue me. So I'm, I'm preparing uh, to be sued. Again, remember, um, pay me. I'm sad. <laughs> that's how this you're... works. You're done. You're done, buddy. You're gonna need. You well, need a lot, a lot to, a lot of money to defend against this suit. Well, you know, I agree with uh, Rahm Emanuel, who said, "Never let a good crisis go to waste." <laughs> um, so let me put this up on screen. First time I've ever done this. Let me DSP this shit. I opened up a Teespring store. So, oh no! I know. If you'd like to support me in my future legal battles against uh, Montagraph, buy a hat. Buy buy Jim's fucking hats. <laughs> so he doesn't end up living under a bridge or in a fucking uh, TJ Maxx next to um, Montagraph's fucking, I, I guess, dressing room. I, I don't know what you describe it as. I'd be living in 148. Yeah. <laughs> well, 148 today, uh, 159 tomorrow. It depends on it depends on what section is is getting the least amount of traction. I, I I'm ready for this nutcase. Now I know when he was talking to Josh because Josh did a stream with him earlier. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go after Jim. Right? He started to backpedal. I don't buy it. This guy is unhinged. Um, he makes threats against people and then he does try to follow through with them. I've watched it repeatedly. I've seen him call the cops on people and brag about it. I've seen him uh, attempt to dox people, flag people. Uh, do anything he can to get petty revenge. And so when he's saying, I'm going to sue you, I'm prepared. I'm ready. I'm going to show up in Labo armor. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you, Monograph. <laughs> I'm fucking ready for what's coming up with the with the uh, toe-sucking sweaty squat and my, I guess, egg-headed, <laughs> egg-headed uh, head of the legal team over here uh, to take you on. Uh, do you have do you have hats that uh, that come in grade A, extra large because that's what i need grade a extra large hat for my egg-shaped head oh well, you know uh, <laughs> i i actually because uh, i like i said i've never done this before I, I looked at who makes hats apparently it's very fucking hard to get them to make a fucking hat <laughs> i had to ask <laughs> i had to ask really nicely to get them to agree to do it i was like can can you do a hat like <laughs> i don't know i was like well i'll do a t-shirt then because i didn't know if i was going to get an answer uh, but then I got an answer. So I've got T-shirts and hats. I even got a mug up there. A fucking yes. mug. The mugs are great. You I gotta just, have the mug. I need, I need to raise the price to fifty dollars. So thank you, <laughs> Monograph, for making me hat rich. <laughs> uh, your legal threats really are spooky. I'm so scared over here. I just, I he rubs me the wrong way. Uh, I guess Nick, if I had to put it into simple terms, I just don't like him. Like I see, oh. him, he threatens people all the time with his petty shit. It's like if you want to make fun of people and fuck with people, fine, but don't start threatening to sue everybody and get them flagged down and dox them because you can't take the same shit being thrown back at you. Of course. Yeah, he's he's your, he's your typical uh, keyboard warrior. It's it's actually pathetic how mundane he is, right? Like, um, it's not creative. It's not funny. There's no artistic, uh, no artistic flair added to it. He's indistinguishable from any other number of people who would... I'm going to dox you. I'm going to find your employer and get you fired. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to call big bad government down to, uh, to put you through the courts. I mean, this is what is it, this guy like Zoe Quinn or whatever? Uh, it's the same, I got the same boring playbook. Just be funnier. What's wrong with these people? Well, yeah. And he, he's been doing it for a decade. I mean, I looked into a lot of the stuff and trying to find as much as I could. Um, and I, I ran into multiple accounts and like, it's not just, you know, shit posters. Like he'll just target like fucking old women on Facebook and shit. Like one woman's like, yeah, he, he tried to, you know, ruin my life. Another guy's like, he went after my 70 year old father. Uh, another guy's like, he got me fired. Like, it's just all these people. He's been doing this shit for year after year after year. And now he's, he's moved into the frivolous lawsuit bullshit. 
Uh, so, you know, I, I guess I'm ready. I, I thought it would be something else. I thought it would be a furry or a juggalo or some other weird fucking group on the internet, but whatever. If I got to deal with a Q boomer, I got to deal with a Q boomer. Yeah. I mean, but you're, you're calling down the entire weight of the CIA on you. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we're talking super deep state shit here. Yeah. I've I've seen fucking thunder. I've seen the belt lines of CIA agents too. That's a lot of weight coming down, Jim. Oh, I I, I know (laughs) it. Yeah. I mean, not only has he worked for the CIA, but he single-handedly destroyed it too. Oh God. What a, what a disaster of a person is that? So I guess I, here's, here's the question for you. What's the next step after, after his lawsuits don't work on people, right? Cause he's escalating. Yeah. So, uh, is he going to have like a, a breakup note and we're going to see him on a, what was it? Jake? What was who, who found the person swinging in the, uh, forest in there in Japan? Oh, oh yeah. 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 The suicide <laughs> forest one. Oh fuck. I don't remember. Uh, Logan Paul or Jake Paul. One of the Pauls, Paul. Sutton. Yeah. He's going to, that guy's going to finally get admitted back to Japan, go back to the same forest and find that guy swinging from a tree in Minecraft with a sign that says, gotcha, gotcha, Medicare. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I could speculate on what he's going to do, but, uh, you know, when the flagging and the doxing and the swatting doesn't work and then the lawsuits don't work, who, who knows what this guy's going to get up to. But just the fact that he called you on the phone from one tweet and the fact that he filed a lawsuit against Jake Morphonius after tell after he basically banned him from chat saying stop being a shithead uh you know speaks volumes as to what this this guy is just he comes off as just a real try hard i guess now he claims in his lawsuit that uh that morphonius you know actually accused him of uh, accused me of violent disgusting acts during a live broadcast do we have any evidence that morphonius actually said anything about him other than just banning him from the channel i I think like i said i think he did a follow-up stream after that where he looked into him and he came across all the sex cult shit and he came across all the tutu su stuff and he's like yeah this is disgusting and i think that's what he's referring to but again i mean it's a guy that's commenting on material that's already out there it's not he's not producing it I think that's why that exhibit showed that when he did the search, it was an already established term. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, there's another document, and I don't know which one I clicked on, but it says, defendant, in fact... Oh, hold on. Let, false- me, let, me, um, let me pull it up here one second. Um, okay. Okay. I'm trying uh, to you, think. Do you know which, uh, which page it's on? Oh, this is Quest Response to Morphonius Motion. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. I see where you are. Yeah, and it's right, uh, right up at the top. So this is what... This is re- response to motion. This is not a proper response to the motion at all. Okay. Um, but he says the defendant, in fact, falsely accused the plaintiff of pedophilia a number of times during the defendant's live broadcast on April 6th, as proven in exhibit number one DVD. He sent the court a DVD, did he? Apparently. Uh, I'm requesting that the defendant issue a full on camera video. Uh, his Blackstone Intelligence Network YouTube page, a full retraction for defaming and falsely accusing the plaintiff of pedophilia and a monetary judgment. Well, the first part, the court can't compel people to speak. Uh, so that's probably not going to happen. Um, you'd have to get that in settlement. Uh, yeah. But, uh, well, that um, quartering went to court with the dude in the dress that smacked him. Um, and I think yeah. the end result of that was the guy went on camera and apologized. So I'm guessing that was something agreed upon by the lawyers, not issued by the court. Yeah, that was settled outside. Typically, typically the court is not going to use the power of the state to force someone to speak. It, it kind of goes against the First Amendment. Um, so they, they don't let, usually do that. Uh, in some criminal cases, they'll ask for an apology, but I think they usually ask for it, and it's part of the sentencing. Um, oh, here's the exhibit. In Exhibit 1, DVD defendant, with his face and voice, accuses the plaintiff of being a pedophile. The live stream broadcast occurred on April 6, 2019. From the defendant's Blackstone Intelligence Network YouTube channel, the defendant falsely accused the plaintiff of pedophilia a number of times during that live stream. Over 4,500 people heard and saw the video, which triggered this very lawsuit. So this mm. is his, his follow-up, I guess, because the first one made no sense. And he's trying to... Uh, this is more specific? Is that specific enough? No. I mean... Uh... It's, it's not going to be su- su- uh, specific enough to overcome the jurisdiction problems. Because he would have to prove that he had directed the the acts towards Colorado. Um, what he, if he really wanted to sue him, he would have to sue him in federal court uh, or in state court in in North Carolina or wherever the uh, defendant actually is, where they'd have jurisdiction over him. That's the biggest hurdle he's got. Um, 
What what page were you reading that on? Six, you said. Um. Oh yeah. So or, if, it, it's the eleven page document, the response. Um. It's yeah. the second page. Plaintiff's answer. It says Exhibit One DVD. Ah, oh. uh, gotcha. Yeah, it's from the paragraph where it says C Quest Response to Morphonious Motion, uh, and then the second page of that. It, it's just that one little oh, yeah. paragraph. There we go. Yeah. Um. No. Uh, and it it wasn't. Uh, this he's addressing other parts of the motion, but I got dismissed on jurisdictional grounds, so they didn't even get to this other this other stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, he would have had to amend his pleadings rather than just answering in the motion. He could have requested that to the court, but I mean, this is why you get a lawyer, right? right. Uh, the The interesting thing is, um, he he raises kind of a good argument on page three of the of the answer that we're reading here okay um and this if he had flushed this out he might have it's right at the beginning it says defendant and and defendants blackstone intelligence network youtube channel has over two hundred thousand subscribers and on april 6 2019 defendant conducted a live stream and accused the plaintiff of pedophilia a number of times while over 600 people were watching live over 4,500 people saw the video um oh wait is it not there Damn it. Uh, I got mixed up on, on which one it is, but there's one where it talks about, he is a journalist uh, with, with a standard of journalistic integrity. This is actually part of a defamation uh, cause of action. Where okay. is it? Uh, where you, you argue that basically they, um, Oh, is it the third paragraph? The defendant's introduction to this very lawsuit explicitly points out what a professional independent journalist, the defendant is coupled, right. Yes. Coupled with his investigational skills. Yep. So what one, one way you establish the, the failure of a journalist to, um, cause they get, they get some special protections for defamation. Uh, but one way you, you get past that is by saying that they failed to exercise the ordinary care that they would, or the standard of care that they've established themselves to use as a journalist. So if this guy claims to be an, uh, a, a journalist. Oh, he wait, has a, wait a second. I'm sorry. Yeah. I've got the stupid merchandise thing over the page. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh no, that's uh, everything's going to shit. Ah, uh, oh no. There, there we go. Sorry. There we go. All right, that was my fuck up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I look over it and double check, and I was like, oh wait, nobody can read the fucking legal document because look, chat. If up. you want the overlay to move, you just got to buy the hat. You need you to buy, buy the hat. Yeah, buy a couple fucking mugs if you want that to disappear. Everybody who bought a hat, mug, and t-shirt combo, it, the the overlay was actually gone. So yeah, you that, was your, that was your that was your bad. Um, you know, I will, I will say this in the second uh, paragraph. He harped on this a lot, too, with my first live stream. A uh, defendant was making money via AdSense donations and super chats for the defendant's defamation against the plaintiff. Um, oh, that burns him up, doesn't it? it? It does. He counted how many super chats I got on the first stream. Like, he sat out and counted them all and then kept repeating the uh, the total out as he talked. He was fuming about it, yeah. So I think this one pissed him off, too. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh... That, that's the thing that pisses all these people off, right? It's not only that you do it, but it's that you make money at it. Oh, God, it burns people up. God, I, ooh. Well, you ooh. know, I, just to state this again, I wouldn't be doing, like, I, I'm moving over to DLive to do streaming in the morning and stuff, kind of like I did on Stream Me. Yeah. And that was my plan. And then this guy starts going off on me. So uh, I the only, like, the reason I'm even fucking streaming over here on YouTube still is because he initially said, I, I don't have a video on hand, but it was one more of his, you know, you're going to learn you a lesson shit. Uh, he's like, you're too scared to stream on YouTube. You know what will happen if you do it. Oh, so, you know what's going to happen. You know what's coming. Yeah, you know what's coming. Lawsuits and flagging. So I was like, fuck this guy. So I streamed on YouTube. Uh, and, I, you know, any, if I do any more streams about this, if this gets crazier, if he files his fucking court case and all that other bullshit, all coming here. I'm going to fucking do it here. And you can burn the channel down. I don't give a shit. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's just I, I uh, he's I don't I don't know I just don't like the I'm you know if you make fun of me if you laugh at me is really what it boils down to if you laugh at me I'm gonna teach you a lesson kind of shit it's so stupid yeah let me let me give uh, monograph a little a little lesson um, laughing at someone on the internet is like standing across a highway and pointing at someone and laughing and it is not illegal to stand across a highway and point at someone and laugh it is not illegal if. 7 billion people on the earth are standing on one side of the highway, pointing their finger at you and laughing. And you're the only guy. And that's probably what's happening here. Not 7 billion, but anybody who sees this is laughing at you monograph. No one's, no one's laughing with you. 
Right. Well, I, 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 you know, I think a good way maybe to kind of we're kind of getting to the end of the Montagraph stuff. Uh, should we show should we show people his hot memes, the stuff that he just uh, completely fucked you out of the park with? Uh, yeah. Can you can you give me like two minutes and I'll be right back? I got to run and, and do something real quick. Oh, is, he I, not, I is, is he knocking at your door already? All right. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. But if you want to start getting into it, I'll, I'll pop back on in just yep, a second. Yep. Not a problem. All right, Chad, give me a second here. Let me pull this shit up. Uh, these these would be the hot memes that Monograph made to teach to teach old Nick here a fucking lesson. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy them. Uh, they're pretty fucking devastating. So let me pull these up here. God, he made like a hundred of them. <laughs> so fucking many of these stupid ass things. Okay, here we go. Starting from 16 hours ago. Let's uh, let's just do window. No, no, I'll do desktop capture. There we go. Uh, that'll work. Uh, so here they are from Monograph, and this is for some reason directed at me and Nick. It's nice to know that certain attorneys will do anything for new clients. Isn't that right, Nikki? Defeat is your business, huh? Laugh my ass off. It is now. And uh, you can see the devastating meme. Uh, head counsel of the Sweaty Sausage Squad, uh, Nick sucking on toes with two forkfuls of fucking sausages. Uh, Anti-bully right there, and I guess that's Ricada Law's logo. Knocked them right out of the ballpark on that one. Uh, another one. There's nothing better than an attorney that gives great service. Thanks, Nikki. You are going to make a lot of sausages standing up. Take notice. That's what I call attorney-client privilege. And he's put him in a gimp mask. Uh, and I, is he at the United Nations? We'll never know. <laughs> he's got his le or leather bondage gear on. Uh, another another uh, devastating picture. Uh, here's one of him uh, drinking potato head alcohol. Uh, you're going to like that. Uh, here's one of him taking a shit. 24-7 council of the uh, sweaty sausage squad. Always oh, a good one. Oh, here's one. Uh, before I was the head of council for the sweaty sausage squad, I worked at Wells Fargo. They didn't take me seriously there either. <laughs> and there's a little, a little uh, egg, egg-shaped Nick Ricada. And he's driving a tricycle on his way to something busy and important. Uh, it feels good to be accepted by a bunch of sweaty sausages. When it comes to being an actual pro attorney, I can't compete. Poor Nikki. Uh, just added him right in there. Oh, here's another one. A troll attorney, head counsel for the sweaty sausage squad. He really likes that sweaty sausage shit. Oh, I love the sweaty sausage. Oh, yeah, mm. we're, we're just going through them. Here's the bear one. Uh, being the head counsel of the sweaty sausage squad, some days I need hugs. Attorney's feelings matter. He's just, how do you, how do you fucking respond to this? I've, I've got to respond to this. This meme is accurate. I worked at Wells Fargo and they didn't take me seriously there either. That is true. That is true. I told them not to when I got hired. I said, I'm the worst salesman ever. Don't hire me for a sales job. And then they did. It was great. Good job. Now, now did you actually work at Wells Fargo? Oh, yeah. For a year in downtown St. Paul. It was the worst year of my entire how, life. How did he know that? Uh, I've said it before on a stream. Well, yeah, but he wouldn't. He's not going to know that you said it on a stream. He like he re remember he responded immediately to you. I don't know. Maybe there's uh, maybe he did one of those background check uh, websites or whatever that has previous employers or something. Well, well, I mean, maybe this clears it up. He's got Illuminati written on the bottom of his memes. So that's true. I think you know talking about rent to daddies. Uh, he he you know showed us your real teeth. Uh, embarrassing. Uh, free cases for kisses apparently. Well, that's true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it's it's not pro bono. It's pro boner, right? You got to get those. You got to get the smoochies in to get uh, to get a little roused up. That's why we do the cases for free. Well, yeah. And then he's got uh, one of his final memes. Uh, his super hot banter is you as an egghead under a uh, billboard of Agent 19 coming to get you. Uh, so what? I, I guess let me ask you uh, in all seriousness, uh, what do you, if he files a complaint, you're going to read that on stream? You're going to have some fun with that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, please. Oh, man. The worst thing I can do is have complaints come in. God, it's terrible. Uh, I hate when people call me out for my professional ethics and, and all of that stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have. I mean, if this if this dummy is stupid enough to, like, sue or file an ethics complaint or whatever, I mean, what what do we what do we have to hide here? We got to just go ahead and tell the world about legal process well when he drops his lawsuit against me and of course seven sweaty men google and 900 other people that he's threatened to sue over the last week um you're gonna have me on stream so we can read through that complaint once he files it god i hope so 
because <laughs> I'm really looking forward. <laughs> I'm really fucking looking forward to what he's going to end up coming up with. I hope this low, low rent, uh, low effort idiot puts more than four lines into you. Uh, four, four handwritten lines on a self-help document. I mean, can we at least get a paragraph? What, what I don't want a three minute stream. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like I, I, I was thinking back to like, okay, what is he going to come after me for? I honestly can't think of anything. Like I, no. I, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not Jake Morphonius. I didn't accuse him of pedophilia. Um, all I've accused him of again are verifiable things. He has himself said he does. Yeah. That's uh, it's, it, it's a weird one, but you know, he, he knows a lot though. Maybe he's going to have to learn you on what you did. Well, he's going to learn me real good. And then he's going to memes the shit out of me. And we're both going to be, uh, just crying in a corner trying to deal with this. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm sorry that you, I guess, got dragged into this, uh, for tweeting about it. Uh, he's and anybody listening don't whatever you do don't tweet about this because this guy will put you on the shit list and you're going to get sued along with all of us in google just and know that it's coming take it from me no, nothing nothing is more stressful and and trying than the results of the tweet oh i know God. it's damaging beyond beyond <laughs> fucking measure well I, I i appreciate you coming out to join me on this i i just wanted your i guess legal take on it and then you know i was gonna have you do just that initially but then he he releases a video um just outright saying he's coming for, <laughs> like he releases it saying he's coming for you uh for no fucking reason uh, yeah it's a very last one counsel for the sweaty sausage squad equals too funny but he, he's deleted it but at least i was able to save it so we could watch some of that and i wanted to get your takes on that uh, do you have yeah. uh, Do you have any uh, you know upcoming Vic streams? Like what What do you have coming up soon? Uh, well, as soon as I get some more information on the depositions, or maybe some transcripts or transcripts of the hearings that happened during the depositions, uh, we'll be covering those. Um, as for the the specifics of this coming week, uh, Ty Beard, of course, is Vic's lawyer. Um, I believe I'm going to have his daughters on. Uh, at some point this week, they both work for the for his law firm and in various roles. Neither are lawyers, but they do different things for the firm. So we'll have them on to talk and and get to know them a little bit. Um, other than that, uh, until we get some some, di I think there's going to be some shenanigans. I think the anti slap is coming up in the Vic case, which should be fun uh, to talk about. And the the anti slap is is great because everybody is talking about oh this this case is gonna lose on anti slap or this is anti slap nobody's nobody will fucking file it just file the anti slap please dear God file the anti slap so we can move past it that would be wonderful you keep waiting for uh, it but they're not gonna do it are they I kind of wonder if they aren't uh, I think they're they're. They were waiting to have Vic get deposed and they thought he was going to just like cry like a baby and they were going to slag him and then file the, the any slap after that. That got headed off early. And then what, what happened in Vic's deposition is that uh, they maybe forgot that they were deposing an actor who sits and talks to um, hundreds and hundreds of people from all walks of life for like nine to 10 hours straight at a time for three days a row uh, every weekend. And that he might not be too broken up by a six hour deposition. Like he might be able to just deal with that. Oh yeah. They tried and, that against uh, Alex Jones. I remember that they, you know, it was specifically mentioned a few times. Oh, it's going to be a six hour deposition, but Jones was like, whatever. Yeah. He, Jones sits there and um, anybody who sits in broadcasts for three, four, five hours a night, a day or whatever is probably going to get through a deposition just fine unless they've got something that nails you to the wall that you don't know that they have but typically you know exactly what they have because you gave it to them yeah yeah so uh, uh well can i can i ask you this i i guess it, i probably should have asked it earlier uh he files his lawsuit right yeah uh, so what does it cost me to fly down uh, I, I guess in colorado or north carolina where the fuck he files it let's say i decide to go <laughs> oh sure. what's what's a court case cost when you're going to do this uh, you're going to have, I mean, you're likely just going to have filing fees for it. If you're, if you're doing it yourself, right, you're going to have filing fees for it. Um, you can probably electronically file or file by mail. You wouldn't have to do it in person. Okay. And, uh, and, and you, if you're, especially if you're contesting jurisdiction, which I'm guessing you would, if he filed it in Colorado, cause unless you're in Colorado, which I don't think is the case, but, um, if you're, 
if you're not in Colorado and he files there, you can test jurisdiction. You can probably do it uh, and, and request leave of the court to appear by like a phone call or something, since there's no reason for you to have to undergo the burden of, of flying into Colorado. So you're really looking at a filing fee and you can maybe even get it waived and force him to pay it. Oh. Uh, based based on the ludicrousness of it, or they, he might have to pay you back, but it it'd probably be um, a motion uh, a motion maybe to dismiss maybe a hundred hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, that's okay. I, uh, well, and let me ask you this: If I show yeah. up to court in a labo armor with just underwear and glasses on, how's the judge going to look at that? Uh, depends on the judge. Sorry, does, does it? Does it depend <laughs> on the judge? I think they would not be too happy with it. Um, they they would probably ask you to leave and come back in at least street clothes. Okay. All right. So you're saying lava armor might not be the best approach for the first day? Now, maybe what you could do is get on the people's court or, or judge uh, Joe Brown or whatever, and then you can show up however you want. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Too bad Wapner's not in the fucking thing anymore. I, I miss that. I, I got Judge Wapner and some lava armor would be a nice combination. Yeah, he would... He would love it. He'd love it. All right. Well, uh, thank you for coming out and discussing it. I know this is uh, silliness. This guy is something else, but um, <laughs> yeah, I wanted some hot legal takes and yeah. uh, just your, your live responses to his uh, threats to basically uh, release a phone call and make you a <laughs> make you a website. I well, that's really polite of him. I have still I'm I'm the worst, uh, the boomerist of web developers. And so I don't have a proper website. So if he if he does one for me, that'd be great. And uh, if he releases that phone call, I guess everyone will just have to see how I talk to people who are just trying to defend themselves. Um, yeah, I thought it was really weird. Yeah, he kept harping on it like it was some big revelation. And I was like, well, I bet, you know, he got the phone call and he's like, who, who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the long and short of it. Uh, and then and then I talked to him. I, I'm stupid. I'll talk to people, I guess. Um when I'm just driving around cause I didn't have anything else to do. Uh, but it was, it was kind of interesting. So if he releases it, I'm definitely devastated. And, uh, I'm sure all of my peers who, um, don't already hate the fact that I go online and talk about the law while drinking whiskey will be really depressed at how I handled a phone call with a weirdo on the internet. Oh yeah. It's career ruining really. I mean, yeah. it's the end of a, a legacy that you've built up, but it had to happen sometime. It did. It, it's all going down. <laughs> Crash and burn. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, for popping on. Anybody that's interested in following up on the Vic stuff, uh, it's uh, Nick Ricada, Ricada Law on YouTube. Uh, I'll put a link up in the description. Hey, uh, thanks, buddy. On the on the reupload because I usually pull these down afterwards. But um, good luck. Uh, pray for me. I'm gonna need it. I'll pray for you. Our oh, prayers together. You. Hopefully, we'll get us through this trying time. Yeah, we're we're gonna need all the prayer we can get. Okay. All right. Take, take it easy, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You too. Peace. Uh, all right. Bye. All right. Well, that was uh, Nick Ricada. Give me the hot legal expertise on dealing with uh, a Q-LARPer on the internet who is just running around threatening to sue everybody. Again, I'm now on that list, along with drummer, PayPal, Google, Twitter, seven, seven sweaty men, Liquid Monty. Uh, Nick's on that list as well. I'm sure Josh will be on that list for daring to talk to him earlier. He'll get annoyed about that eventually and decide he's going to sue him. <laughs> Everybody's getting sued. Everybody's getting sued. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, give me a moment to go grab a drink. Uh, I know I had Super Chats and stuff come through. I will read through those all and answer them. Uh, and then we'll close it up. Everybody can go have a nice weekend and I can start preparing to be homeless. Because apparently I'm just going to be struck with poverty when this psychopath decides that uh, he's going to drag me into court for hurting his feelings because I laughed at him. Of course, why wouldn't he do that? Uh, put this up. Uh, is that is that not going to scroll now? Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, you know what? I wanted to... <laughs> Let me show this before I grab a drink. Uh, this was... <laughs> I'll just put it up. Uh, here we go. Now, our bully hunter has asked the Rose Thorn live in game who is harassing her. And our victim then immediately replied. Let's zoom in again on the bottom left hand corner. Now, you see there, the tool connected these two a victim with a bully hunter. You're, you're not an anti bully. You are the bully. I'm a meanie. I'm a big goddamn meanie. All right. Let me, um, let me go grab a drink here. And then I'll read through the. Super Jets, put a little music on in the background. Put a little music on while I go to do this. What should we, what should we listen? I know what we'll listen to. Uh, one moment. 
Uh, so if you got to take a piss, grab a drink, do what you got to do. Uh, we will uh, be back in like five minutes, two minutes, two minutes to five minutes. I'm not sure how long it will take. And then we'll read through all this stuff. Uh, but if you're taking off right now, uh, thanks for coming out. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a good weekend. Jump into the Super Chats in just a minute here, and I will be right back. Okay. All right. Let's get this set up here. I had, where are we? Right, just one moment. I'm back. I got my drink. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Alcohol. All right. Let's see. Why is that not showing up? Okay. Start with the super chats. Uh, get the streamlabs too here. From Errant Vice, James Drake of Union Bridge pisses in cups. I guess status update for everybody. Somebody's out there pissing in cups. From the Thunderblade, Bongmeister Supreme wishing you folks a happy lawsuit. From Kenny Jones, now you've done it, Jim. You just had to keep poking the bear, didn't you? From Jarbo Banks, I've heard that electronic group Daft Gunt. Just look up hashtag Guntwave. I did not take the pills is latest song. Visuals are great too. Tis the happy, the laughing god wishes you shut us up now. Laugh with me. Rubrics. Caleb Lambright. Hi, Jim. Or hi, please consider streaming video games. Again, thanks. From Shimera Comics. Hey, Jim. What do you think about Comicsgate? Uh, I've already given my opinion on that. I've kind of stayed out of it. Um, I know what it is. I know what it's about. But I'm not huge into the comic book community or comic books in general. So it kind of seems shitty if I just latched onto it. Not not really my scene. I mean, I watch a lot of anime too, but I haven't really jumped into the Weeb Wars thing either. I mean, that's that's more other people's stuff. Uh, you know, I, I kind of watched it from the sidelines. But I haven't really paid attention lately because I'm <laughs> dealing with crazy Q-boomers, I guess. From Solid Snake. Jim, this is Snake. If you end up going to court, you better turn up in clown costume. You can't let down your child army. From Sun Bro Joe. Jim, if you have to appear in court, please use this money to change or to purchase a white morph suit to wear to trial so that my mental image of you stays exactly the same. I don't like change. Thanks, boss. Uh, <laughs> well, that or Labo armor. Uh, tell daddy how big you are. This grandpa is off his meds. Seems like the final, for or final form of Donga with the amount of fights he's trying to start. Also, play that Halo clip, Jimbo. From Terry A. Davis, God says Monty makes great boomer memes. From Fallen Prophecy, Maddox finally canceled his garbage podcast. Maddox lost. 
did he really cancel it? I mean, he had no fucking viewership. I know he's pulling in like 20 people. Uh, it went really badly for him with the split uh, with Masterson. Uh, I think a lot of uh, his lawsuit was motivated out of jealousy and spite. Uh, because when they split up initially, Maddox was getting like 300 bucks on Patreon, and then Dick is like pulling in 20000 It was fucking insane. Uh, so it's funny to me that he has just ended his podcast. What is he going to do now? Make shitty videos? Uh, hate speaker Sargon of Akkad. I love the BBC. Uh, sword and Scales, again, we read this earlier. Jim being sued. Here's a little something for your legal defense fund and for that paint thinner you drink. Again, thank you. Uh, from Vincent Howell, please call me Mr. Curie instead. Get it in. From a waifu in VR, Gunts Rise Up. Megan Gubbany, my two favorite streamers in one place. Amazing. From Crichton, please call my friend Denise a yellow rigger. Well, there you go, Denise. From Ribby Gamesake, you're pretty epic. Good luck. Richard Gruber, remind my friend Reed that he's a knicker. Also, add this to your legal fund friend. From Reluctant Realist, shout out to Auto Admit, the most prestigious law forum in the world. From Hurry Up and Wait, so we finally get to see the Labo suit in court after all this time. I say you wear a Space Marine suit and stay talking in the third person. There's a lot of fun things we can do, to be honest. From JD 1989, here's some super berries for your legal defense. Best of luck to you, Jim. From Dwyden Aether, nut. Shane Shannon, have some shekels, Jimmy Joe, Joe, Bob, Bob, Balowie. When are you doing your MRA video? I, you know, I don't know what, uh, my, <laughs> I'm a little engaged with the monograph stuff at the moment. Um, I, like I said, I'm moving over to DLive to do streaming. Uh, probably starting up at the very beginning of July. And I've started like transferring over all my stuff onto um, BitChute. But I, I ran into some weird issue where a video just refused to fucking upload. So I sent uh, like an email to support. I'm waiting to hear back. Uh, but that's where the videos will probably go from now on. I don't know. I, it just YouTube is kind of, it's become very restrictive. It's hard to have a laugh. You can still do it kind of, but you know, times are changing. From uh, White, hey Jim, search Medicare and Monograph. Happy Days on YouTube. I made a nice little edit to the Happy Days intro you might recognize. Big up Sweaty Squad, NNRU. There's the link. I'll try to take a look later on. Clinton Smith, you don't sniff gunt from a can. From Joni Baloney, I should see you for not reading my Super Chats last stream. How non-goy of you. Also, is Nick good at law because he comes from a long line of rabbis? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I, I, I should have asked him. I think he's going to be out of a job once uh, Monty uh, decimates him. From Xander Z. Rant Z. Channel Awesome and DZ, or DBZ Fighter Z with Nick Wen. Uh, you know, the last time I challenged somebody to an online match in a fighting game, I destroyed them. I played Ralph in Mortal Kombat and decimated him. 7-0. Medicare's Lunicorn Archives. Monograph confirmed Rama Rama. Mario Carter 13. Match my donation and Jim's new lake house will be on the public record. Ain't that neat? Username, have some of the worthless Australian money, Jim, you earned it. New Guardian, how paused did your viral load get this uh, Pride Month, Jimbo? Uh, super paused? From Lindsay B, for the chocolate pudding that needs to be stockpiled. Burder, burder, when edgy boomers try to rar XD you off of YouTube. From Russian anime bot, hey Jim, some shekels for your legal defense fund. 222 gong gang, retards, rise up. <laughs> Thank you. From Obvious Alt, what do we call erasing Jewish history? Dusting. From Finn Frog, late boomer muted and figged. Top autist, Jim and Nick, hello, I'm finishing up. Oh, that moved on me. Uh, I'm finishing up Swamp People with Mom. We'll join ASAP after. Also, Ace Comet is the shit. 100% at 7 on Xbone and want to redo 6 for 100%. Now doing 7 on PS4 now that the new Plane DLC is out. Um, I really liked uh, Ace Combat 4, 5, and 0 on the PS2. I kind of skipped 6 on the Xbox 360. And I have 7, but I haven't really had a chance to play it. Uh, but it's a fun series. Sean Turner. Jim, the only way you can stop a TARD is with another TARD. Call up your boy Ross, a nuclear gamer, and his elite super hackers. TARD Wars, engage. Moderator Marcy. Jim, what is happening? Are you being detained? Are you going to jail? What do we tell Jade? <laughs> well, I guess you're going to have to tell her, uh, Jim said goodbye. He'll see you in 10 to 20 years after he gets out of Sing Sing. From HR the Trickster, I'm Jim and I want a maths debate to Cape Horn. From Skark Bank, we're officially on the Titanic of autism. 
Silent Walrus, you're famous now, due to Reno. Mm-hmm, in that neat, sure is. From Rainer Connor, chucking myself, or chucking myself to give you $5. Thanks for digging into the sides of the Internet's most non-autistic, or what? Thanks for digging into the sides of the Internet that most non-autistic people don't go. Oh, well, you're welcome. From Cowboy FMJ91, 10 bucks says Nick will be late and gay. From Lexa Who, for your kick fund. Crackling Crow, everyone wants to know how many DUIs to drive. A lot of them. Uh, Obvious Alt, did he really finger Jade on stream? Oh, I made a woman come in front of 5,000 people. Put that on the resume. From Arcade Outpost, Cuck Fuentes called me a retard at Wignat for saying the Dem debate was about demographic replacement. Press S to spit on arthritic Nick. You know, I watched the Dem debates just to see how bad they were going to be. Um, you know, I, I think it's still a little early to figure out who's going to be completely shit on. Uh, Biden obviously looked a little stupid when they read back a quote from him when he was younger, talking about passing on the torch, uh, watching Beto try to speak Spanish, followed by a few others was uh, a bit painful. Uh, who's the chick that looks like Sindel, the one with the white streak in her hair? Uh, she made that. She made one guy actually gasp for air on the fucking stage. He like did a fish like gulp thing on stage. It was funny as fuck. Uh, from Matt Fields, lol suit. I have a one dollars and twenty to help the defense. Well, thank you. From gray haired snake daddy's here. Feed me your sweaty sausage, Jim. A burly knoll. Nick is late and gay and on another stream. Mikhail Mansbridge have some depression dollars. Moderator Marcy he is coming to get you, Jimbo. You done goofed. Monty backtraced your IP address. He is calling the cyber police. Consequences will never be the same. From Jack Powell. This means you won't be playing Roblox anymore. Uh, Roblox, those days are done. I got a virus and my pants slipped down. From Elizabeth Gamer 23, the un or the un for charity events gets a squeamit. Just Monica, within one to three hours, you will read the Superberry. Well, you called it. It's been two and a half hours, so right in your time window. From Jeff Smith. Learned your true identity and will reveal it here and now. Jim Medeker equals Andy Worski. Has anyone seen them both in the same place at the same time? Admitted, Andy. My remote view, or from Gilead, my remote viewing psychic dog that I named or <laughs> Oregano is barking at me in Arabic, saying that your left nipple is going to grow six inches longer in two days' time. Time is ticking, Mr. Milky, Mr. Milky. From Omegas 13, to learn who rules over you, simply find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Is Monograph Jewish? I don't really know much about him. Uh, like I said, I watched him being weird with uh, Drummer. I was fascinated by it, really. Uh, said some things laughing about it. And then uh, got got put on the you're going to get sued list with uh, a bunch of other people. But I don't I don't know a ton about him. From Miss Tizzle, go Rikator. Uh, here's a little something for the war chest. Hurry up and wait. I'm getting flashbacks from the Maddox court case. From Griephole, have you been hacked, or have you hacked Monograph's credit card to pay for Twitch thoughts? Uh, no, I have not. Iron Wolf Spear, Dame Pesos disappeared because Chile is kicking ass in Copa America. Uh, that guy asked me on stream if you want to be on CNN, are you going to accept it? LOL. Uh, G Spawn, take my free super shekels. From John, I'm drunk on Skull and Baja Blast. Your commentary on internet spurgery is incredible. PS Play, Vanguard Bandits, better than Brigadine. Uh, I have played that. Or no, I played Vandal Hearts. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different game. Uh, from Thaddeus Max, Doc's Tober Reigns likes to stalk and harass Sandy Hook victims' families, i.e. Lenny Posner. From Jim T, you're dealing with a guy with contacts, LOL. From Killshot Kenny, Rip Etika. He's Dedica. Both he and Boogie2988 went too soon. Drummer happened to predict both of their deaths after they crossed him. Press F in chat. From Goldazor, He's being quiet so mommy doesn't hear him and take away all his hard-earned good boy points from Danny or er, from Danji. Hey Jim, here's some free YouTube money. Jeff Atomic, Timothy Timmerman. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, quite the name. From Malik P, Jimbo, please look up Jason Blaha, have my shekels. From Am the Web Ding Dong, it's Agent 19. Burning Eagle, damn times are hard for Colonel Sanders. From Sakak Sakaki Onsai. I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, this guy reminds me of the killer in Dirty Harry, the one who played by the same guy who played Gul Dukat on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I forgot the bastard's name, and I forgot how to pronounce those names. Asking me nerd shit, making me look bad. From Austin M. He's a real-life scooter from Borderlands. 
from Jay, why is Sid from Ice Age threatening you? <laughs> That's a very good question. I don't know. From Rocket and Sano, Dale Gribble is Agent 19. From Garrett Jeffries, is the Stranger Things Season 3? Oh, is this Stranger Things Season 3? Uh, no, no, we missed that by a week. It doesn't come out until July 4th. From Pharaoh Owen, glad you could help. Mark C., he needs that $1 billion so he can buy his freaking sharks with freaking laser beams. Right now, he can only afford rabbit sea bass. From Nova Zero, you don't understand, Nick. Agent 19's body count is bigger than your law win rec or win loss record. Uh, from Laden Star, give this to him so he can at least have a cardboard roof over his head in a month. From ETR, here's two dollars. I'm gonna call this boomer Figet out. From Ghosty Arla, <laughs> nice. Uh, for your legal fund, from one potato knicker to another. From Shawnee J, it's as if this old bastard watched every episode of Leverage and Lawyer Consultation commercials. From IF. Here's a little something for matching that Labo gear for you and Nick. I guess we should all invest in Nintendo with all this Labo gear. These lawsuits are going to move off the shelves. Please save seven sweaty men. From Jeremy Pavlik, my Minneapolis brothers. Uptown Minneapolis represent. Hurry up and wait. We've reached peak levels of boulders and gay ops on this one, haven't we? Uh, yes, we have. As told by Anakin Skywalker, looks like it's time for that face reveal, James. From James or Jason Edward, here's a couple of bucks for when he puts you guys in prison. Be safe. Don't drop the soap. I don't plan on it. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have my ass plastered shut. That's my fucking plan going forward. From Daniel Demos, isn't it illegal or illegitimate prosecution illegal? I get the feeling he's he's not the best legal expert. If we're talking about monograph, we'll see. From I Heart Goatsy, LOL, Lapa Lazuli, this guy really is an MK Ultra experiment, isn't he? Eduardo Ramirez, goodbye, Nikki. I'm dabbing over you. I'm dabbing. From Cy Brav, air quotes, <laughs> air quotes are for being abused by the leftist loons. From Circuit Obama, uh, what it, what in meth addiction is this? Uh, well, it's a very it's a very dangerous individual. Don't piss off Agent 19. You put a bounty on yourself now. From GR People, Nick's poor interns is going to feel this, the brunt on this. The one and only Mario Man. Apparently, I have a free super chat. Here you go. From Cybrov again. The eyes say it all. Hurry up and wait. Nikki Nikki Nickers. Nikki Nikki. From Adam S. Hashtag support our troops. From Yobi Axis, the anti M or uh, men going their own way. Daddy, no. F R N K I M L L R. Does murder murder even stream anymore? I, I would know. I don't know. Uh, from Larry Bernard, debt collector here. You're using it for a non-business purpose, has various penalties, misuses of licenses, and potential legal issues if you pursue people without a proper business purpose. From Farm Master Flex, his back door is always open for a fee, of course. Gray-haired snake, ain't that neat, Nikki? Travis Merrill, here's a little something to help with your defense lawyer. Also, you can apparently unmidget a midget now. Look up Chandler Cruz. You won't be sorry. Viking Insane, I want candy. Skip to the sweet shop uh, with my sweetheart. Sandy, mess up the mix. Mix up the mess. Come on down, yo. Here's the address. 612 Wharf Avenue. From Schwang is sleepy. Take a Google shekel. James Beanick. Don't be monogram. Use Universe Simulator 2 for all your remote viewing needs. Google Earth is for children. From Phoenix 76. Rules of engagement. Are we talking about the fucking Geneva Convention? <laughs> I think he imagines it as like a war. I'm not 100% certain. From Fazimo, good job getting into a flame war with Gene Hackman from Enemy of State. Uh, Goldazor, is he the main character or is Agent 19? I believe he is the main character. Black Cube Mystery, monograph is like Glenn Beck missing a chromosome. From Ray Drake, this can't be real. I don't believe it. From Goldazor again, this is definitely Giorgio's right-hand man. Better watch your back, kiddo. From Mark C, this guy is a John Nash schizophrenic. Matthew G, play Little Nicky from Prince. From Tom531Cat, is this a movie? This sounds like a supervillain flick and sounds like a weird porno, or porno. It's a bit of a mix of both, really. From Mark C again, I love Q, best guest star on Star Trek. From Finn Frog, that Duckerman Christmas 17 was a fraud. From Richard Gruber, song for the Eggman with the master plan. It's a link there. From Goldazor, this is the this is the next Far Cry game villain. From Tiz the Happy. Who's a big tough guy? Him or Donga? 
Well, you know, Donga, I, I don't know what to tell you. We have to see how this plays out. I mean, Tonka did challenge people to fight him in real life, but this guy has attacked refrigerators uh, with golf clubs, I guess. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Goldazort, he was lying. He would never cheat on his melon. From Pro Truth Anti Media Archive, Nick Fuentes calling in his Twinkie Catboy Army to keep you safe, Jim. Well, I'm going to need all that protection. From a street lamp, here's a little something for you in your fight against the Joomer, Dick Tuno. Hey, Nick, this is Phil from the TDS group. If Monty backs out of the date, I'll fly out with Roma Craft Cigars and uh, something 16. Prepare your toes. Uh, well, Nick is not here, but hopefully somebody passes on the message. He's got free cigar and liquor coming his way. Hurry up and wait. Nick, drop the dirty movie you and Steve will make from VAWBC Carry. Wouldn't a monetized YouTube channel be considered a business? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, from Metacore's Lunicorn, Archi or Lunicorn Archives, plot twist, Melons did the penetration. Hurry up and wait. Prepare to get those toes sucked, Nikki. Bear and a wolfsbane. Colorado courts allow search for records, but there is a, po or a cost per search, not per result or download. From hurry up and wait again. Exhibit 1, watch as I proceed to doink this melon. Exhibit 2, watch as I suck these toes. <laughs> Clown World Order. I knew those hats were coming, you whore. Oh, that's right, they're coming. From Cy Brav, merch with the Medicare kit. From Matt Fields, I'm buying a hat, finally. Sweetie Squad for life. Yeah, let me shill that. I am a merchant now. <laughs> let me put that back up on screen. Buy my fucking hats. All right, I, I've tried to explain the formula to you. I'm sad, pay me fucking money. All right, this this court case is scary. And the only way to fix that is with that giant dollar sign. And you can give me that big old dollar sign by buying a hat. It's a teaster, or teespring.com stores Medicare. Go act now while supplies last. Uh, that Cooper fellow already made my own hat, Jim. Too little, too late. Zaymara, best laughs I've had in a long time. Here's to the sweaty sausage squad and their head counsel, Nikki. From Padre Speaks, Sweetie Squad Leggings has my downstairs uncomfy. From Thaddeus Max, Nana of 07, CC Brown, Double Statement, Dodger War, Synthetic Rebellion, Ben Mac, Nuclear Dubs, Sheena Living Waters, Mystery One, Mighty Buffoon, etc., all mod for Unirock and mod hangout on Monty's channel. From Sean Turner, how many levels of irony are you uh, to finally make merch? Also, Jim, where are the clocks with your face on it? When will I spit on your face for cash whore? Oh, well, it's coming. We'll see how many lawsuits Monty files against me. And if we get a bunch of them, the clocks are coming. Obvious alt, just to piss off the boomers. From Geebs, merch looks nice. Model them for us, boomer daddy. From Gray Haired Snake, nice merchant page, Jim. We have the Sweetie Squad merch menorah available for Hanukkah. Oh, don't you know it? <laughs> I'm even going to have some bris equipment up there. I've got it all covered. My rabbi has blessed everything, and it's ready for purchase. From Alan Woke, sucks your toe, ooh. Madbot, ah, ha ha ha, I'm laughing at you. Red Cell 96, so I take it someone tried to sue Jim and lost. Uh, no, we haven't gotten to the lawsuit yet. From Non, sweaty, <laughs> sweaty sausage squad, rise up, ISJ322. I'm back at the start of the stream, and this guy's autism is on afterburner. My hair is straight back. I have to take breaks consuming this cringe. From Cloudstar, Boomervania 2, Simon's Quest, Arthur Tintengale, I'm late. Why is Patrick being sued? I asked it twice. I'm getting sued uh, because I laughed at an idiot. Uh, he's threatening to take me to court for laughing at him. And if you laugh at him, you'll be put on the list, too. From Shinku Toner, nice drinks. Our Nikki drinks his whiskey neat. Just neat. And Rodson, it all returns to nothing. It just keeps tumbling down. Tumbling down. Tumbling down. And I had some stream chair stream labs as well. Here, let me read those. Uh, one second while I pull it up. Uh, from Jordan Scott, Agent 19 here. Uh, <laughs> Agent 19 here said to wish the uh, wash the limo again. There's still Coke residue on the seats and Stormy's yeast infection samples on the headliner. We'll take back the participation certificate right back, okay? From Leather Collar, watching this while crocheting in Australia. Thanks for giving me such an awesome entertainment for my Sunday afternoon. From St. Guillotine, think it's funny you have merch after saying you'll never have merch because of Helsing's clocks. 
Why the sudden change of heart? Whatever happened to just draw four stars on a hat? LOL. Oh, well, you can very, you can still draw four stars on a hat. Very simple. But I want, I want a nice reserve of uh, uh, hat money for when uh, our boy here, Montagraph, drags me into court. From JC Gaming. I wonder if he's related to Ross. From Elite Man. Florida is a two part consent state. From Kara Papoose. My two favorite labs or er, lads, Jim and Nick. Question for Nick if he's still here for this. There are so many kinds of lawyers. Is there a lawyer that specializes in dismissing bullshit law or bullshit lawsuits? Um well he's not here for this, but I'd imagine if you ask him on Twitter he'll tell you. Uh Dr. Fudge for your legal fund, Mr. Jim Boy. From Mr. Wicket. Uh, this is what schizophrenia looks like. Terry Davis 2.0. I, I disagree. Terry Davis was a saint. This man is nowhere near the league of Terry Davis. Uh, Agent 21. Stuck collecting Nick's docs on the, uh, for the, <laughs> at the NSA. Just wanted to say I'm enjoying the stream. Props to both of you for fucking with my boss. He's totally nuts. From Dylan. How much has, <laughs> how much has Gabe raped your wallet so far, Jim? Also, congrats on getting sued. A oh, woo! Um, uh, Gabe has not raped my wallet. Uh, I got I got free points for the stupid race thing from playing Bejeweled. I guess Gabe felt pity that I was one of the people that bought fucking Bejeweled, and uh, that's where that's where I got my points from. I haven't really seen a ton of stuff I was super interested in. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, not not a ton this time around. Sometimes some years there's some great shit up for sale. Sometimes you're like eh. Uh, for me at least, this is one of the eh years. Uh, from Dylan. How much? Ha oh, I well, remember that one. And then from uh, Shark Make, yesterday was my birthday. Shout out to my favorite titty monster. You know who you are. And that was from Shark Mank, uh, giving a shout out to his favorite titty monster. Who knows who they are? Just a heads up to you. I think we've gotten everybody here. I got a few more here. I'll run through. Uh, from Daniel McGuire, can we get an Oni hole of Jade on the merch store? I'm working on it. From Z <laughs> Zeno Combine. If Jim gets erased from the internet, I will lose my shit. You keep me saying in this age of constant bullshit, hope you win the court case, here's some shekels. Fight the good fight. From Spectre, don't forget the acorns for the court. I won't. ISJ322, Jim, stop. You hired this man, don't lie. <laughs> from Caleb Lambright, did Project Bluebeam kill Nicker nerd Akita? <laughs> no. I, you know, uh, uh, you're making me blank now. Um, <clears throat> is this in reference is Bluebeam... That's the alien one, right? Is that is that because we have all the alien stories with the Navy and the President and the congressional uh, debriefs that are happening right now? Uh, from S. Cybertaz. Uh, fuck my life. He's following me on Twitter now. What do I do, Jim? Uh, duck and cover would be my suggestion. From Hexcat. David Stay starts streaming up in five minutes. Go watch it. Uh, yeah, everybody, check out David Stay. Uh, he'll be doing his live stream this evening. A uh, Good shit. Funny guy. From Rando number nine. Agent 19 is Dopio. The Lepardo, how do we find out when you stream on the new system? Uh, I'll post uh, information on the days that I start doing it and the times I start doing it. it I got to get into a rhythm, but it'll be listed on the page itself, and it should be pretty concrete going forward once I get into it. From Pancant, my first uh, super chat to anyone, love your stuff. Nick Johnson, Jim Rules. Augusto, P, don't sniff petrol, don't be Rama Rama. And uh, there we go. All right, I think I've hit everybody. If I missed anyone, I am sorry. Uh, just chalk it up to nervousness over being sued by a uh, CIA badass that worked at Raytheon, was it? <laughs> Who knows all the, the phone laws in this country? Got to be careful with that shit. Okay, let's see. Move this out. All right. Well, I'm going to go prepare myself uh, for the big day in court. Big day in court coming up again. Remember, I'm so very fucking sad. I'm uh, very scared. Court's scary. Buy a hat. Buy a mug, too. Buy a hat and a mug. And make the sadness go away. It's the only way that's going to happen. I'll keep everybody updated. Uh, if uh, Mr. Monty decides to sue me, which I actually feel he probably will, just given how unhinged he appears to be. Uh, I don't know if he's going to sue me first, if he'd sue Drummer first. Who he's going to sue first? But I have a feeling this will be an entertaining summer, nonetheless. I'm going to be starting live streams, like I said, over on DLive under the username Mr. Manchild uh, in the mornings some kind of a weekday schedule probably starting early July and the videos will be going mostly up I'll dual upload for a while but moving more towards BitChute under Medicare as well as putting up like the 
full series is shed. So that'll be over there. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Saturday night and tomorrow on your Sunday. Uh, pray for me. I need your thoughts and prayers, especially the thoughts <laughs> to survive this trying fucking time. Uh, and monograph, if you're listening, which I'm fairly certain you are, uh, your memes are shit and you really aren't scary. Uh, stop being an idiot on the internet. Uh, it's embarrassing. All right, everybody. Have a good one. I will see you next time. Now, our bully hunter has asked the Rose Thorn live in game who is harassing her. And our victim then immediately replied. Let's zoom in again on the bottom left hand corner. Now, you see there, the tool connected these two a victim with a bully hunter. You're, you're not an anti bully, you are the bully. <laughs>